Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zelda Speedruns and welcome to something we do not have every day. We are glad to be back after quite a while with a LOTAD or TASK showcase, in this case a LOTAD performed and created by Kyle Speedruns. So today it's OT LOTAD time. We have two different ones for you. We're going to start with blue percent and we're going to move over to hydrophobia percent, both Super special categories you definitely have heard about before, and if not, I'm sure Carl will shed some light onto them. So without further ado, let's hand it off to our three commentators, to Carl Speedruns, the creator, to Aerith, and to RTA Dan. Take it away, it's all yours. Hello. Uh, it was supposed to be the other way around, but we should be fine either way. Did you oh, was I, was I wrong? Didn't yeah, you I'm say pretty it was, sure it was Hydro, yeah, then hydro first. first. Yeah, because of different days, we were going to do one or the other. Blue. Oh, okay. You told me you wanted to do blue first. <laughs> well, I thought we were still doing this on like uh, like Wednesday or something. So we were like, well, let's do blue first because then Dan can. Oh, do yeah. After that. Maybe, maybe, so. yeah, maybe I miss. I, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to switch. That's no problem. How are we watching? Is, is somebody streaming it? Or am I supposed to be watching somewhere else? Yeah, you uh, go to the this other score, there's a link that you click. Yeah, there's a commentary link. Click on that, it shows the restream. I can All right. Hold on. All right, let me quickly I'll change. I'll to you real quick. Let me quickly change the... Yeah, Lawrence. There's a link. Boy chat, while we're waiting, how is everyone doing on this fine evening? Thank you. That looks good. All right. Got Basically, ready when you are. All righty. I, well, I am ready. Are my cohorts ready here? I am ready. Yeah, ready as I'm going to be. All righty. <laughs> well, well, we're already as long as you're ready, Trez. We'll go with you. All right. Let's get this thing started. Alrighty, so Aerith, would you like to introduce okay. this category? Sure. Um, so this is something that like I kind of routed. I know Kyle like rerouted the whole thing from when I did this years ago, so I'm excited to see what nonsense is in this. But there's like an old MP16 route, like oh, this is like an MP16 challenge from like 2009 or something. Yeah, it was, it was early. Yeah, it was so old. Yeah, it was like beat. Water Temple without ever setting foot in any of the water, like in Water <laughs> Temple. So I found out that, hey, we can set a wrong warp in Shadow Temple using Furrow's Wind on B, and then we can wrong warp to Water Temple. So it is possible. So when I found that out, I was like, well, what if we routed like an entire route where the goal is never step in water the entire route and beat Morpha, and then you jump into the lake at the end, and that's, that's the route. So Kyle has apparently done the low tat of this so shout outs to that i can't wait to see what this looks like yeah this is actually the second low tat i've done for this category um this is more or less just a better rendition i guess we'll say um kind of like a refurbish um mostly if you've seen the other low tat i've done it's literally it's around the same strats just recorded differently and slightly faster You have my full attention now. I'm done with work. Gotta, gotta love the intro. Mm, I so guess it does give, gives commentary time, I guess. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. This is a video we are watching. Um, I made this all frame by frame. And, but um, this was made on real console. So this had console variability. GZ for the win. Yup. Shouts to Glank. Yep. Like ZG for the win. What? GC. <laughs> Wait, did I, did I say ZG? No, I yeah. said I said that. I said. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I missed. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I was just. 
I don't know who's oh, man. That's a dead name. Yeah, that's a, that's a myth. So... That's a myth. <laughs> he doesn't exist. I feel like there's a trick I should probably start talking about that we're going to see at the very start of the run. So, if you remember about five, maybe six years ago, we had Hano in three pauses being done, and all dungeons in two pauses. There was a very big trick about five years ago that let both those categories down into two pause and one pause. That being itemless escape. This trick is very precise. If I remember right, it's down to 10,000th of one unit of Link's backwalk speed. And the whole trick in, in itself is you clip through who we call Pokey, he's the guard. We essentially clip, clip through him with just a rock. Hence, I am less escape, but we're still going to collect an item before we leave, as it's going to be needed later. Is it just me, or is it like the uh, frame drops on the on our feed, or is it just me? It's fine for me. Making a snack in the kitchen and trying to watch at the same time, so <laughs> I'm to count that. <clears throat> It looks fine from what I can see. Yeah, it looks yeah. fine, but sometimes it just drops a few times. I don't know. Maybe just my connection. Close on some tabs. Yeah, you know, all your six instances of idiots in cars have to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this trick is very precise. Like I said, it's down to 10,000th of a unit. So we're going to use a trick. Well, setup John found about a week later. Just to ensure we get into the right setup. Well, in the right position. Fun. Cracked. What is that? And so this. Wait, have you this, never seen that, Lawrence? No. So this lets us. Oh, wait, I should probably refer to you as Arif. You can say Lawrence. It's fine. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Kyle. What were you saying? Uh, yeah. So this trick lets us just escape the forest early, and also is around the only way we can move the forest without touching water. We could. Do pokey escape, but yeah, Kento it's a little slower. Can't do Nobilis. or Nobilis either, yeah. But this trick also lets go from oh, you could do any percent. You could do a Cosmo escape. Yeah, we could. <laughs> I, I think when I did this route, I used a stick and just broke it. You got like one chance to do it because the recoil. Uh, you like, so hmm. you did pokey escape. You went and bought the shield and then you. You did like third try pokey escape. <laughs> yeah, that sounds you right. You buy a stick every time you failed. Uh huh, That's that does sound right. Yeah. This trick also conveniently gave us uh, zero pause, any percent, one pause, all dungeons, and two pause, one hundred percent. So, we have we have a trifecta. That's awesome. Uh, surprisingly, this didn't take much work to do. How many um, pre records do you have on this one? This is, I think, about seven, like either five or seven thousand. That doesn't I can, sound like very much. It, it wasn't, no. What even, like, I never understood, like, what even counts as a re record? Like, if you, like, so, go back to the save state and try it again? So, or... what? Yeah, so if you load back a save state and then start re recording over that state, it counts as a re record. Okay. Um, in the case of GZ, I know for Bizhawk, which is what we typically use for like load heads and Tassian, what they count as a re-record is just simply loading a previous state. Oh, okay. Is oh, well, what sure. counts as um, a re-record. But this didn't really take take much re-records now. Oh, interesting. We're not doing the, the, the fast? Just skip the owl? Can't do it. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Sorry, oh, right. Head. No water! <laughs> Immediately just uh, can't. Yeah. This so who wants to explain cuckoos? <laughs> no, I don't want to look at this. I've done this slippery. for like 10 years. I'm done. I'm never also, touch I'm going to say slippery cocks. Yes. Escaping slippery. my grass. <laughs> so I guess I can briefly kind of explain how cuckoos work. 
So, whenever you hit a cucko or throw a cucko, during their, I guess their bouncing animation, whatever you want to call it, uh, they're trying to move in a single direction that's furthest away from you. Straight so, yeah. yeah, it's like a straight line away from where you're facing. Yeah. So ultimately, you want to manipulate where they move so they're close to the pen. But these are terrible cuckoos, anyways. I mean, they weren't too bad, but they definitely could have been better. Yeah, cuckoos can always be better. Cuckoos are hard to do, especially tasks. Like usually, you won't see anything past cuckoos for like two or three hours, depending on how much work you yeah. put in. Yeah, they were definitely pretty far away from the pen there. Yeah. God, you really beating the fat guy is a good way to know how fast you are. That guy hasn't even turned around yet. Yeah, so that's a good cue you want to do is like you want to look out for is where he's standing up between uh, that like entrance to the graveyard. I uh, I do a mod. I do a Z in my ta in my runs all the time as well. So low tad approved. Yep. <laughs> Steve. Yep. First. So, uh, we should... uh, in case you don't know, like Z slides, basically you have to press Z like every other frame. Yeah, it just preserves your your speed. It's yeah. mainly usually only good for like going up, like backwalking upstairs. You start your backwalk, get up to like eight point five or or nine yeah. speed, then easy slide up. It just looks funny. Yeah. Yeah. And sounds like do do do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It changes per like the tar Z targeting sound changes per area. Like, if you're in a dungeon, it's a little quieter. If you're yeah. in the overworld, it's a little louder. Yo, inverse camera. I love nice. It. Does this one have an Aussie has, by the way? Um, I actually don't remember if it does or not. I know a little bit of the next showcase does. Yeah, you you asked for my request. You included one. I think it's still in that one, in that iteration from having to redo it twice in one night. I like how you curve all your backwalks. Got to. Nice. Nice. Nice castle before night. Yeah, that was solid. Yeah. Always reminds me on that uh, Iron Jacks clip. Oh, yeah. He fails it and <laughs> yep. is, is very ballistic about it. <laughs> <laughs> that one should have failed. Like, the way I did it, that should have failed. That castle before night, but it didn't. Yeah, that I wasn't very surprised. That yet. Me neither. Yo, Richard? That's not Richard. Richard. That's yeah, not. Richard. That's his cousin. <laughs> Mike. That's his distant cousin. Mike. <laughs> Mike. Yeah. That's Mike Wazowski for you. Yeah, it's Mike Wazowski. All right, so Mike next is a pretty, a pretty significant <laughs> yeah. trick. That's really open the door for speedrunning. Uh, this is door time skip coming up. Open the door? You mean hasn't opened the door? You mean we haven't opened it? Open the door! Yeah, open, open the, the door. door. Uh, so basically the way this trick works is this door is not aligned properly. On I think it's only the left side. Yeah. So with a precise uh, angle, we can actually just backwards side hop and pass the doors, child. How are you doing the, the backwards side up there anyway? Like, you're not even rolling. Uh, just, it's just an ESI shuffle. Up. Oh, you just ESI shuffling and tap. Yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. yeah. We're just ESI shuffling, and then we just yeah. target the door and get the backwards side up from there. Brad. So this is I, your first bathroom I, break. Time for cutscene. I, mean, I should actually like get some coffee or something during this time. <laughs> Make another cup. Yeah, maybe I do one more. All right, uh, two of you might notice uh, a Triforce on Raru's forehead. Yeah, it, oh, if you yeah. haven't yet, look at Triforce. Look at Raru's forehead. Um, Polygon's makeup of a Triforce. Yeah. You'll never be able to unsee it. You're welcome. No, I saw it once. I cannot unsee it. Yes. <laughs> right. I don't know if it's on purpose or. If it's just... I feel like it's definitely intended. It must he, be. Mr. Triforce himself. 
I feel like that's definitely intended. Blue! Yeah. Here it We're is, coming up. Just try for us. I hate. I can't unsee it now either. I hate that you point. Once you it see out. it, like once you see it for the first time, you'll never unsee it. Like yeah. I saw this back in three pause. Like back in three pause. Yep. yep. Oh, and I can't cool. unsee it. So, Aerith, what do you think this route's gonna look like as adult? I barely remember how I did it. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm assuming. Well, didn't your route go to like Wall and Ranch twice, like in race, do like the race mini game twice yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. I did. And I did. Ones, like, I, did uh -huh. I went. I remember doing race mini game twice because that's how you get Blink B, and then. Oh, that old strat, yeah. Mm -hmm, the really old one, but. Yeah. You said you don't do that, so I'm excited to see how the heck you're gonna do it. Right. I don't think Link is like does realize after the fact he gets told. But spoil I don't think do you even see his forehead, like or his forehead ever again? Like to the point where you can see yep. the Triforce? Like I know you see um, him before spirit. the white medallion like before the yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow of Cutscene. Yeah, after Shadow Spirit. But, but I don't think you can make it out. Like, make it out, though. Does Link not realize after waking up he's three feet taller? Maybe. How did his ears get pierced? Who did that? How did oh, his yeah. ear get pierced? How Robert did his left ear get pierced? Robert tell you pierced what. his ears. Robert he's he's going to love this when he wakes up. Nah, Eric, <laughs> I got one murder for you. He pierced his ear while eating KFC. Oh, yeah, in the, the, the Pucko. Like percent? Yeah. <laughs> like, isn't that where you, burn, where you burned a chicken? Yeah, it's where you get ISG or? from a Deku stick, and then you pull out, like, uh, the Cucko or Kojiro. <laughs> and then, there you go. Yo, when are you going to task? Get into the fish tank percent oh. percent. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. I don't think did I ever you... ran it. I always wanted to run it, but I never. I don't think I ever it, did. That is such a funny, stupid route. Yeah. He's in the body that he would have been in if he loved his life without <laughs> he getting the call. Jesus. Yeah, true. You probably have a point there. That's that's a good point. Yeah. That's a very yeah. good point. But what call are we talking about? We didn't see no uh, no princess. I have an F percent. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I have my, my reset to like Japan, so it shows actual Japanese text. I thought oh, about boy. doing that. I'm not like placeholder or something? What is that stuff? It it's just, just garbled text. It, it just can't display the Japanese because uh, like the oh. system, menu, system menu like is not set to Japanese, like the region code. Yeah. Is but, that why it does that? I didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, yeah just, the console meant. settings not um, in Japanese, it's just garbled text. Yeah, I have a... Um, Homer thing that like I can change the region code so, to Japan. That's so then... I had no idea. It actually changing it to Jap Japanese does save time in a run, believe it or not. Wait, yeah, I think it does save a few frames. It, right? it saves a few frames, yeah. That is really funny. I can't believe that. Yeah. But I mean, it wouldn't matter for GZ anyways because GZ doesn't record. Technically, doesn't record re uh, resets, so it doesn't really record that screen or the N sixty four screen. So. Well, it records the N64, N64 screen, but it doesn't record the you don't need the classic controller screen at all. But. <laughs> Did Kako see the hero enough said? Yeah, you're right. Okay. Locking so if Kako. I remember right, Aerith, you did... In your run, you went to Wild well, Ranch right away. And did... Mm -hmm. uh, the race. Horse race. Mm -hmm. I remember that.
I hope you're ready for some back walking. I love back walking. All right. Back pedaling. Back pedaling. That's the real one. Pull Yo, what's up, Crispy runner. Bacon? That he's he's they're running uh KFC crispy bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, what do you? I'm curious to see what you're gonna do instead of using the instead of, instead of using water. The blank B that we usually how get are we gonna get the... bottle? How are we gonna get bottle on our B button? We can't use water. I mean you. That part's easy. I understand that. You bombs. You just bombs. But, yeah. mm -hmm. but how are you gonna? We are running the Japanese gonna... gas. Yeah. So we setting time tonight, it seems. Yep. Hatch the cuckoo. Hatch the cuckoo. Yeah, hatch. Yeah, right. We gotta hatch the chicken. I'm trying to remember what. Why did I go to Long Long Ranch in the first place? It was to get. Dim your you did it because right? you got no. You did it for stick on B. Oh, so like you yeah, would, like you would open up the tunnel. Yeah, you would blow up the wall in DC, then you'd uh, reset, then save and reset, so you get stick on B. That's right. But uh, that was the old route. The new route here, we're gonna go visit a friend. We're gonna go back home and visit a, a special friend of ours. Why did we need stick on B before? How uh, bottle on B? Bottle on B. We used we got RBA. stick on B so you could put a bottle on your B button to RBA. Wait, we're going to cook your forest. It looks like. Yep. We can just do bombs to get ball on B now, though, right? So we don't need stick any of that. How are we going to get into DC? Oh, yeah. Right. That was the problem. I see. Blue, that was blue, the problem, yeah. Blue fire, Kappa. Yeah, blue oh, fire. God. <laughs> it is the special. It is the guy who was struggling with up the rock. You're right. That is the guy. No. Uh, close. So, we're going to go. It's going to look very weird. But, um. Oh, almost touched water there. I know, I was like, ugh! Yeah. I put a lot of suspense in for you guys for this. Alright, we set up pointer, so... So, we're gonna reset our oh. camera angle coming out from the shop. Uh, we're gonna use oh, both these Octoroks for, oh, yeah. uh... Yo, oh, for Bottle on B there. Yeah. And, just because we say fuck you, we're gonna kill that guy. <laughs> He's out of there, dude. We're gonna, we're gonna get right, rid of that's him. That's funny, that's funny. Killed just him used him then and killed him. Yep. Okay. Without really any other way, this is kind of the only bottle on B method. How do we end? Um, so we need to get into... Oh, right. You can just pocket cucko to get strength upgrade. Okay. You'll see. Mm -hmm. You'll see what we do. We RBA blue fire. Oh, God. We're going to get that. Jesus. Put on your B button through bottle adventure. <laughs> We're just gonna do uh we're just gonna do some rare bird adventure. Yeah, for sure. To do some uh bird adventure. Bird adventure. I think that's Banjo Kazooie. Shots to Kazooie for the naming. Yeah, I mean there is RBA in Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Reverse they actually have an RBA. B reverse B adventure. Yeah. No reverse B adventure. Yeah. Is that a real thing? Yeah, it is, it's yeah. a real thing in Banjo Kazooie. Awesome. Just like how uh, Link to the Past says YBA, for use a Holler's Bottle Adventure. Alright, so now we gotta wake up uh, Mario. It's -a me! Oh, yeah. It's Talon. No, his name's Mario, get it right. It's true, he's got the Bowser pin. Exactly. So is Malin. Oh, yeah, they both do. I think, doesn't Ingo have one too? He might. Probably. I actually haven't I really looked to. Is is much Ingo on based that. on Luigi? Yeah, for yeah. sure he is. <laughs> don't remember Mario having a tied mullet. Uh, you didn't play the right game then. You didn't play the DLC. All right, there's our first RBA for strength upgrade and wallet. Well, oh, he collects the yeah. way. If if you catch Kojiro, you get you get a wallet and strength. Oh, you didn't go for strength. Um. Upgrade. Okay. But RBA and Kojiro, well, catching on Kojiro gives you a fake quiver and bomb mm -hmm. back 40. Bomb back 40, yeah. Yep, that's the most important part is the bombs. Okay. What we need here, yeah, is, is the bombs. We also need a bottle on the bomb slot. Why have we only seen Mario's daughter in Zelda? And a bottle on the bomb slot, yep. That's why we dropped on... Uh, we dropped on something. I think we dropped on... 
On bomb just white cocoa. He dropped bombs and yeah. white cocoa, yeah. Oh yeah, no, so the original, to get bottle on B, we also had bombs on our C right, so that we, it puts a bomb in our, it puts a bottle in our bomb slot. So now we can actually pick up bombs. But if we get the bomb bag, but if we get, pick up the bomb chest, it puts a bomb bag over our bomb tree slot. Yeah, which doesn't really yeah. matter. Eye drops, baby. <laughs> totally. Interesting that you went to the right side. Yeah, I need to stop doing that, it's slower overall. Yeah. It's just habit at this point that I keep doing and it. Consult Baker on this. This is what he does. <laughs> Website's Bay. totally faster. Oh, since it's too late, um, you when it comes Baker to the next run. <laughs> honestly. Why did you use the next Blue next Diamond run, glitch there? Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you blue Diamond. Blue, blue Diamond. Glitch, just out of levitate. <laughs> it's blue just Blue Diamond, diamond and, and levitate up. You're right. <laughs> Could have saved all the time. But no, we need a damp uh stretchy, shrinking, moving oh, thing, whatever right. he calls it. He hook really shot. has a way to describe the hook shot. Yeah, that's that's how he calls it, totally. I want a hook shot IRL. <laughs> Why have we only seen Mario's daughter in Zelda games? Um, He has no sons. Easiest way to put it. Drop a nut. These nuts. Got him. But we also need bombs too, so... You know how it is. Getting extra bombs. Yeah. Nice. I should have gone for three bomb drops, but it's whatever. Has. Got him. This, that, you are so totally right, Chloe. It's, it's exactly right. Yeah, so usually we'll, you, you would do like a mega flip into a west here, but uh, no water. No water allowed. So we have to hest the long way. It's probably not that much lower. I mean, there's really no other. W well, we could go through Goron City, but then there's that cutscene in the in the wall. But <laughs> three sixty no scope, <laughs> right? Once I learned, I learned these in uh in this route in this run. So I'm like, I gotta throw them in for for the rest of it. I wouldn't cancel Mario, I would just more or less take away his parenting rights. But I wouldn't cancel him, to be honest. A lot of it's just pretty standard, just doing the trade quest up to a certain point, and then really that's kind of where the run changes. Wait, 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 do of the. <laughs> well, slide. you kind of see Mal in, in Majora's Mask. So, I mean. They didn't, didn't take her away. So, this is officially the, uh. Oh, the jump thing, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pop. This is a, a very nice hop. And Link's Awakening, but yeah. But I think those are just like different instances. Shouts to GZ and not having script feet. A script feature, so I have to, we have to do all these by hand. Deepest lore. Especially all the text smashing. Have to do that all by hand. It's a pain.
Nice little sideways cam on that first bit of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's you funny how like throwing boomerang when you're hessing. I mean, yeah. his feet just have like shuffling. Yeah, it's great. Or like weapon swapping with like the bow and hook shot or something. Yeah, it's fun. Um, I mainly time them, but you could also just press A on every frame. But I'll just. Usually what I'll do is I'll just set a state before the text box appears, and then I'll mash B throughout the whole thing, and then reload that same state, and then just go back through and clear out frame perfect. We, got, we just got John Kramer's favorite tool. Yep. <laughs> Keep that in the back of your mind. <laughs> It'll come in handy later, trust me. Trust me. We gotta get on the saw Whoa, That Z slide looks so scuffed. <laughs> that saw percent routing, Lawrence. Oh man. All traps. You come out on that Z slide, but you didn't come out on the first one? Lame. No, that was the same Z slide. Camera's objective. I think it was in the it's kitchen the when the first one happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he did it on the first one as well. Yeah, so when it comes to doing Z-Sides with, like, Navi going to something else, you have to, like, basically hold Z every frame to keep it going. How are we going to get past this without a Pona? Oh man. Oh, there's so many ways. <laughs> all of them are just as annoying Welcome as to Ocarina of Time! But we don't have but a yeah. Pona, we can't a Pona push. How are we going to do this? Yeah, we can't oh, horse push. Yeah. No, 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 no. Man. I guess we're going to do a distant Mega, I guess. Easy. Easy clap. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you're, you, the intended way, you're supposed to free opponent and use her to get across. But I mean, you can use her just launch shot or hook shot to get across, usually. Yeah. Well, yeah, hook, shot is, hook shot is not supposed to be possible, but... Hook shot, no, but you can Long extend your hook shot and get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. launch shot, oh, easily. Man. Do we just prelude now? Oh, no. 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 Not yet. We knocked you, turn. You're, you're oh, one we... step ahead. Aerith, no. you're one step ahead. I know, we don't have our our set count isn't right. We need enough Deku nuts. Enough of these We nuts. have enough sticks, what do you mean? Oh, sticks. What, 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 what are, are we using? About? What are we using to... What's the item we're using here? For what? For setting the value to 13. What do you think we grabbed in Dante's grave? We're gonna use Deku nuts. That's what I just said. I just said that. Then what are you talking ago. about? You said stick. I said nuts. I said we have to set the nuts the right right chat, amount. Chat. And then you, you said did stick. Or did he say he did nuts? Say stick in, in chat. Did he say stick or nut? Dude, I said nuts. You ram a hook shot up your nose, and apparently, and yeah, the hook shot extension is. <laughs> you definitely said stick. Nice head up. Nice head up. Set up for the no. Thanks. Oh man, this house is great. Maybe, maybe you misspoke. Dude, we have a VOD. You can go back and watch me say nothing. Okay, this is gonna be the <laughs> slowest bit of the run, but I didn't want to redo it. I didn't have enough time to do the, to redo this. So, sorry in advance. Like, the, this is like the slowest part of the little head. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, there, there's your... You're nervous has Dan. The no Z has. The, the no Z has. Oh. Oh, fish. Until you said that that way, I did. I thought you like. Yeah. 
now I understand why it's called. I, I also was wondering why, why it was called no the S. Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah, it's a no, no space Z has. Like, yeah. no Z. Then actually step in the water. Oh, yep. God, oh. You, was, you were very close I there. Would, I really put the suspense up there, but no, I did not touch the water. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, there you go. No water has been touched. Man. <laughs> nice. Keep you on your toes. I <laughs> just nice ace light. <laughs> That's great. So, should we start explaining Bottle Adventure now? Since uh, that's coming up after this, you're gonna you're gonna see magic. You're gonna suddenly see. We're gonna get 13 deacon nuts. It's gonna turn into something else. Oh, so here's a flashing light warning uh, coming up. We're gonna use a lot of deacon nuts in a row. Yeah, so you need to set your deacon nut count to 13 because when we go back in time. And we watch the cutscene where Zelda's, you know, Sheik, spoiler alert, that Sheik is Zelda, gasp, that it actually sends Link back in time. And when that happens, it updates whatever his item on B button is. And because our item on B button is not his sword, it's going to instead read off of our C right input. And because our C right input is a bottle of fish, mm -hmm. it's going to read off of our Deaconut account. Or a deacon account instead it yeah it's kind of weird but and essentially it reads the value of that it's like oh well fish is in the bottle and fish is also connected well, we're to not blowing the account. ending there's there's still more we're just explaining the next trick ahead but yeah but Body. essentially um the the game is setting up your b button by just reading off of your c right item and so yeah, since it just gets confused because there's not supposed to be a bottle on B, so it doesn't know how yeah. to update. So it looks yeah. at Carl's looks... right. And since fish is the value 13, it looks at decanuts and it's like, oh, yeah. you have 13 decanuts. It puts a special item on B. Yeah, value 13. You can use this Does trick chat also. Know update what value like... 13 is? You can you can use this trick to update the value to anything too. So like yeah. As long as it's an integer that like is between the value that you can hold, so like Deacon Nuts, like what's like forty? You can hold forty max, right? Uh, isn't it fifty? No, that's that's uh, no, it's errors. thirty. But no, I think it's I forty. Can't remember. It's thirty or forty. Anyway, well, can... no wait, you get twenty, and then you get two upgrades. So oh yeah, forty, 40 max. Yeah. Okay, it's forty, right? So you can any item on this table between zero and forty. You well, can... actually, it's oh. up to two fifty-five. Is up to 250. Well, yes, I understand that, but you can't go up to 255 with Deku Nuts. So if you're using Deku oh, Nuts, no. it would be between 0 yeah. and 40. 36, 40 Nuts, yeah, sounds about right. It's like the yeah. highest, well, like, I think. There is a 40 arrows. stick upgrade, but it got taken out. Is there anything that links to the rupee count? No, I don't that would so. be cool. <laughs> I wish. You can put like adult and you can put like adult trade items on there, I think, or child trade items, and it goes on like B? super high. Yeah. Uh, no, as on your C right item to oh, read. Oh yeah, yeah. But you then could. it does some weird stuff. You can just crash your game. It's sold it's out like, on B. Sold, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> kind of what's sold, Dude, sold out? Sold out's really cool. Like it's just another uh, master sword. That's all it is. Funny. High drops, various things. Yeah, and you can get some like missing yeah, no right. items that act like eye drops. Yeah, you can use it for other stuff too. By like, you can actually put useful things on it. So you can put like yeah. a, a hammer. hammer there, boomerang, things long you're not shot. supposed to be able to get. Yeah, long shot. Shots the launch on B, where you have every time you press B, it shoots, but also cancels <laughs> out. So you have to do two weird shots for one gold skull to It's nice. God. Spoilers. Yeah, if you haven't played the game yet, here's the some spoilers for you. Hey, wait, where's her afro? Why is her hair not messed up? Oh, man. I got the wrong game, apparently. Yeah.
Yeah, so it's this yeah. part of the cutscene in particular where uh, the game actually puts you back to child. Yeah. So right now, if we could go break out of this cutscene, we would be child. Yeah, like, the, and... yeah, like going back counts as going. This basically counts as going backwards and forwards in time. This yeah, cutscene. so like, so like right now the game puts us back as adults. So BA just happened. So after this cutscene, we'll have a very special B button. multiple ways to do this as well this is just usually the fastest you can also beat forest temple because Sheik will block the pedestal so if you beat forest temple then you can come back isn't and do it, it just anyway. having forest medallion though no it's not like, or is it you check for forest medallion and the cutscene it checks for that yeah because if you, oh, you can rba okay. forest medallion and it doesn't oh yeah yeah change, yeah right? you need you need to have to have like to, cut cutscene flex set gotcha i'm thinking of white arrow cutscene prerequisite i'm thinking of I'm thinking of that, where it checks for medallions. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise yeah. you could just go right now to that'd be it. That'd be busted, honestly. It would make things a lot faster. It would yeah. be, definitely. Purple diamond. Even, it looks more pink than purple, honestly. The the sister to blue diamond glitch. <laughs> pink the diamond. Evil, the evil sister. Yeah, the evil sister to blue diamond. Shouts to blue diamond for giving us uh, Hessian. I've never actually hessed like. Dude, it's busted. You just like shuffle and hold shield and get yeah. hit, right? Yeah. Yup. You just cast a spell, pull out the bomb, you do an ASL shuffle, and there you go. You go flying. Oh, didn't get, don't get the CB button there. Yeah. Nah, you'll see after the after we warp. Keeping the suspense up by playing gotcha. you know, really, really fast. <laughs> First frame. Uh, so, if it's not obvious, we're playing Nocturne. We need to go to Shadow Temple. But usually you need Din's Fire. Uh, we have three bombs, so we're going to do a triple bomb push. And the way this works is, if we stack three bombs and go in front of them, it actually will push us slightly out of bounds. So we use this to unload the door. Oh, it could stop nice. So you just equip the stick as the doll, which you're not supposed to be able to do. But by yeah. just doing a, doing a, basically doing a frame per equip, you can just overwrite. Yeah. You can equip yes. uh, adult items to child and vice versa. Yeah. Stick, stick as adult will crash in 64, so if you yep, yep. to do it on N64, just know it'll crash your game. V champions! Yeah, the V cheaters are here. Stick on B, also, like, N64 in general, stick on B will crash as long as you're adult. If you're child, stick on B works fine. And see a broken stick, that's good. Shots to the very slow fight. Yeah, I was wondering I why, you, why you did it so slow. They walk around him. Yeah. I forgot about that. Oh. Not going, it's not going to see up there either. It's going to see up stays like a few frames there as well. Oh, yeah, it does. Call me out like that. Jeez, Dan. Alright. Let's can't wait to see this on the low tad. This trick is so Yeah, so this is called crazy. a this is a boat key skip. So, hence the name, we're going to be skipping the boat we usually have to ride, and we're skipping the B the boss key at the same time. Uh, this is important. <laughs> yeah. Nice, that's good. Alright, yeah, and the whole setup for this entire stupid concept was literally just to get here with first wind on B. All of that was yeah. just to get here. This is why we did RBA in the first place, was to get first wind on our B button. Yeah. And that the whole reason for Shadow Temple is because... We need this... We need, we need this entrance. We, we need this entrance uh, value. And... We have Ocarina, but you can't use Ocarina in boss room, so the only nope. way to do it is Ocarina items, which is why he dropped the fish there. But we're beatboxing, what do you mean? It's also a note that you can't use Pharaoh's Wind in uh, boss room.
boss rooms either. Oh, it's on your B button. Yeah, Doom Jump. We should explain why uh, Fear's one on B is so important. Because it lets us use it anywhere. Base or yeah. almost and almost anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anywhere you can use your sword, you can use any item on B. That was B aid, so we can use my sword. The fairy box here. Yeah, look at this fairy. This is like a big hitbox on the fairy. We should not have caught this thing. <laughs> like, it's like oh, at the other side of the corner, we just caught him. We're almost at the end here already. What is yep. first? Both that. It's coming up. Oh, I should have done the alphabet slide for this. For the A slide? No, the alphabet slide. Alphabet. You'll see, you'll see, Aerith, don't worry. You'll see in the next run. Yeah, you did it in the last in the other one. You have to stay tuned. Yeah, so... That's real, the next one is the main attraction here anyway. Oh yeah. This is the real reason why we're here is for the next run. Yeah. This we're is just the precursor. We're just building... Um, <laughs> building the suspense? S suspense, yeah, that's, that's what I was looking for. Unbuffered, what a god. Yeah. I've done unbuffered before, like multiple times in a row, but it's just. Nice. Right on the lip. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Navi. Thanks for telling us, Navi. We can do the keys method. No, we're gonna be like OT30 and we're just gonna die on the switch. Die on the switch, hello? Nice. Yeah, shout out oh. to the OT30 where you can just die on that blue switch and if you respawn, like if you. I think it's N642, uh, you can die on the switch yeah. and they'll just put the block there. Yeah, it's just assumes. Normal OT as well. 1.0. I, I think it's only 1.0 though. Uh, I think I've done it on 1.2 before. Okay, maybe. I'm just misremembering. Oh, look at the, can... hard, the hardest boss. So here is King Kick W, the hardest boss in the game. Yeah. Very sure. technical boss in the game. Um, He's also very fat and very slow. Nice basketball. So ISG is the infinite sword glitch. Basically, our Deku Stick is swinging 20 times a second here. And the way it works is, if you interrupt your crouch step on the last frame with either like a sign, a rock, uh, NPC, anything, even with Navi, bombs. your sword will start infinitely swinging. Yeah, you know, like you can do bombs, rocks, like anything you can interrupt with your A button, it'll start uh, swinging every frame. So this lets you uh, not be able to fall off ledges, so you can do glitches like hovering, uh, you can easily attack enemies, two cycle them, one cycle them. Here we go. There's one thing we have to do. Oh, I thought we were just gonna run straight and then. No, there, there's. Uh, if we did, this? no. If if we ran right now, we would crash. Oh, we gotta set the. Uh, we have to reset the cutscene oh. here. Yeah. So I was trying to figure this out for like, the longest time. Uh, turns out, the the Lero of fire cutscene crashes. And the Dedongus Cavern entrance cutscene crashes as well. The only thing that got to work was Nocturne of Shadow. So you have to watch Nocturne. Cutscene. That's yes. So we, that's why we had to play Nocturne again. But we also uh, lost our our bombs. So it's time for a nice slow change of pace. Oh, because you equipped over it, or...? Yeah. We equipped the bottle that was on the bomb slot. Mm 
Oh, like oh, he here it is. Yeah, fuck it. Is. <laughs> That's the alpha. Well, I didn't. Slide. No, no, it's just an A slide. It's just an A slide. It's just an A slide. Uh, a slide is analog slide. So if you kind of do the similar inputs to an to a Hess, but you just alternate neutral and left, right, up or down every other frame, you can move forward or backwards and be playing like a twitchy motion. I so said this works the way this works is to just fall on the switch and like talk to Navi on the same frame. Yeah. So now we can warp and instead of going to Shadow Tempo, we're actually gonna go to the main course of this run. We're gonna go to Morpha's room. Just and shot to Morpha in the in the left of the screen there. Just hate it chilling out of bounds. So Dan, would you like to explain, uh, explain run warping? Yeah, so once when you step into those blue warps, there's a internal frame counter that goes up to like... And Deco Trades 101, I don't know if it's if that's true for every dungeon. Uh, but if you, if you, um, like, if you go on the very edge, you can... Of the warp, you can, like, activate Pharaoh's Wind at the same time. And then basically interrupt uh, the, the the frame counter, and then it just uh, based on where you set Pharaoh's wind, it will warp you to a different like to to, to the wrong location. Yeah, it uses like your map and coordinate, like the map and coordinates. Yeah. Of what you're trying to enter, so in this case, it has to put us in Death Mountain Trail, but it loads uh, the Pharaoh's wind restore point, so it just adds the two together. Yeah. Similar you can to how like one warp like in a lot of places, you can even yeah. warp to essentially almost any meta, can, meta content. Yeah, you can essentially run warp anywhere as long as you have the correct data for it. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful glitch. Like you can go from Grulo Fortress Archery to the last room of Tower Collapse. Yeah, and obviously you can go from. Deku to uh, Ganon's Castle. Ganon's you know? Castle, the famous Ganon door. Go, you can go from Deku Tree to Silver Gauntlet's chest. Yeah. Or you can go to the infamous Beta Jabu. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. There's a few places. And then uh, time is coming up soon, actually. Uh, after two cutscenes, I believe. This cutscene, one more. Yeah, and then the water rising. Hmm. So who is this chick again? I don't think we ever met her. It's your wife. It's Link's wife. Yeah. Oh, I'm mar we're married? Man, never even met her. Must have knocked me out of my sleep. Must have knocked me out. See that Zora's domain warp? Keep it in the back of your mind. Alright, so timing's a little weird in this category. As soon as we resurface from the water, we'll, uh, it'll be time. Yeah, Link conquered his fear. Yeah, he gets over his phobia. <coughs> you guys know the phobia workshop skit? 
Yes. <laughs> I had a whole like monologue I was gonna say, but I didn't want to say it. It would have been great for like the intro. <laughs> Alrighty. So fifty two minutes and thirty three seconds okay. is our hydrophobia run. Oh, that Very was good. that was cut really soon. Oh yeah, kind of was. We on our end, but it's fun. All right, that was hydrophobia. I didn't expect that to cut so early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Ex exposed using VLC media player. <laughs> All good. So, Aerith, what do you think of the new route? This is your first time seeing it? Speechless. Honestly, very speechless. I mean, it was my first time seeing it as well. But... Well, yeah, but Aerith has never seen like Hydrophobia since he ran it. Yeah. It's been a bit since I've seen that route. That was a fun run to make, actually. I enjoyed yeah, that. It looked like it. Okay, now time for the main attraction. Right, time for the best category you guys will Yo, ever see on CSR. Up. Yes. The most All right. in the this is probably the most underrated category. Honestly, it is. Game. All right, let me quickly get that set up for us, and then we can get started. Yeah, so let's definitely. Reset. Let's switch to blue. Well, no, stop the timer, please. So actually, while we have this going, any questions you guys have on chat about the run, about us, the cohorts? Not really. Like. Oh, like, oh, you were asking chat. Uh. <laughs> I mean, if you have questions too, then feel free to ask. No, I'm good. <laughs> Apparently, uh, I left air speechless, so. Speechless, dude. No, nah, everything made sense in that route to me. But we hear it, but we don't see it yet. Oh, me. There it is. Oh, there it is. All right, we're pretty much good to go. So if you're all good to go, I'm going to get it started, and then we can get the run going. Do it. Let's go. All Here's right. A <laughs> Here's a story. About a little green guy. So first off, I'm going to say... This is going to be one of the best categories you're ever going to see on ZSR. Probably one of the few only times you'll see this category on ZSR. Uh, Dan, do you want to introduce us to what we're about to watch? I feel like that should be Eris, um because he made it. Like, true, true. I can throw I think, it off, yeah. I think um, you should explain the, the, like, yeah. how this came to be. So, back in, like, can... I'm pretty sure 20. 14 i uh i was running these things called bingos that the ot community does where they give you a bingo card of objectives you have to complete and i like did the bingo i was just doing them for fun and at the end of it somebody in my chat mentioned they're like oh man it's like blue percent you get like the blue tunic and you got blue gauntlets and i was like i wonder if like blue percent is like a real thing that we could make so mm -hmm. I started routing it out, and I reached out to Dan, and kind of like wanted some routing help, running help ideas. And so our, the route has gone through a lot of different changes over the years, but the general like thing we were looking at is like, can we just get all the blue items and like glitched blue items and like beat the game or something? And so um, originally the, this route didn't even have an ending. It was just like get all the blue items and then like play song of storms yeah. on the fire t fire arrow pedestal with the lake full 
and then you pull out Kajiro and the run was over. And I, uh, Natalia has died came into my chat and was like, this route sucks. You should instead be catching every, making every I item in your inventory uh, a, a bottle of fish or something instead of just getting the blue items. So as you'll see in this mm -hmm. run, like the main goal is your entire inventory of equipable items, like your sea items, has to be blue or it has to be a fish. So like the goal is we have to get, get all the blue items that are naturally blue. And if it isn't naturally blue, you have to turn it into a bottle of fish. And so that's kind of how it started. And then over the years, it's gotten much better. Dan's yeah. put a lot of work into this. We had our other runner, Psydox, who's not here, that oh, helped yeah. really make the route really good. Gosh. I know. I yeah, think Kyle. Yeah, shout out to Sarkot, so, It's a cool route. You'll like it. It's really stupid. and It's really stupid, but also it's really cool because there's just a bunch of nonsense you'll never see elsewhere. And just to like answer this question before it comes up, Zora Mask is not blue, it's teal. It's true, it's not blue. It doesn't count. So nobody's like asking why are we not getting Zora Mask. It's not blue, it's teal. And it would be a nightmare to rot it in as well, so Yeah. We had a whole like the like three hour call one day yeah. defining what a blue item is. And yeah. we specifically looked at the Zora Mask and like this is a whitish teal. Not allowed. Yeah. Point and simple. So unlike Hydrophobia, this is going to be more of like a standard kind of start child start you see, where we're just going to get sword, our shield, and then we're going to weave the forest. Yeah. Yeah. So the, this route has gone through like. At least four, to five different iterations. Five has gone through several. I I currently have the record for RTA, which is uh, on on version four, but like that's not the fastest route anymore. Uh, the only time someone did a run of the fastest route is uh, Arif 2021, a Zelophon. I think that's yep. the only. That is correct. Like, that's the only RTA run that I know about. I was there for that one, I can confirm. I haven't seen any new ones since. And I I actually did learn the whole Zelda phone route, but and I have saved it for it, but I never actually did a run, did, did a run of it yet. Shout to Rose for Rosewalk. Yeah, Rosewalk is cool. I think the biggest shouts go to uh, Aerith, Sidehogs, and Dan for letting me in to <laughs> the light of the best category in the game. Best. Dude, this yeah. category is. Uh, I, I've put a bunch of run. thoughts into this category and a bunch of work into yeah. making the, the videos of these routes. I think we're witnessing deja vu here. Is Link all right? <laughs> <laughs> like, didn't we just see her? Like, 50 minutes ago or something? Nah, nah, that was the first time. Oh, you're right. This is the second date. <laughs> that was the first date. You're right. You you're go right. on multiple dates. Yeah, that's how you get to know people. So, Aerith, when are you running 4 Bay RTA? My God, never! The blue percent is like I, the I only I, thing that's bringing me back right now. I, you ran I actually bay. ran four bay. I was just say, Dan, I've definitely seen you run four bay RTA. Yeah, not for very long though. No, you did like maybe a couple of runs. That was about yeah. it. Is four bay even on the boards? I think it is. It's, uh, right. it's it's on the main board, I believe. I think uh. it's like. If you run like a few underneath blue percent or something. Let me actually see. I think I have my run submitted.
possible. Never mind. It is possible to skip this owl. However, it takes either weapon swapping between stick and sword, or by doing frame perfect pause buffers every time you land from a backflip or a side hop. Uh, never mind. You don't know if I was broken. I can't go to the memes page. Ah oh, man. Jordan Tone. We broke it. We broke ZSR. No, SRC. Not even ZSR, but SRC. We broke it. Shoutouts to not being able to do map spamming. <laughs> oh, because I can press the D pad or? No, because the map toggle was disabled for GZ because oh. in order to toggle oh, yeah, the map, cause we, cause it's usually the D pad. It says, yeah. Yeah, uh, but save states and frame event, yeah. deal with it. <laughs> oh no. Technically, you can, like, toggle the map on and off, but you need to use the virtual controller for it. <laughs> and tasking with that thing is abysmal, let me tell you. Except these cuckoos are way worse than the last few. Even worse? That's possible? Yeah, it's possible. I've seen it possible before, and I made Why it the possible. It possible. It's just not. <laughs> Why not, you stupid bastard? <laughs> uh, uh, such a good movie. I don't know. Yeah. It is. Oh my god. Shots to the Coco's being further back this time <laughs> than the last. This is painful to watch. <laughs> I mean, you, you really like low. I really, I really put the L. I really yeah, put the really L. In put the, the, you really capitalized the L. We have a a font level twenty six L in Lowe's head here. Did someone just put forty in the chat for the time for the estimate time? I'm dead. No, at all. Didn't misclick. All right, but so you are really, really thinking this is gonna be oh my uh, God, a it's quick behind one. the well. So was the last one. <laughs> hey, I still made it to the well. All right, I still got to the well with Navi in time. All right, I met that quota. I'm not that bad. So here's a Navi dive. Um, whenever you talk to Navi, the physics of the wire are temporarily disabled until the text box clears. So we can just keep the text box up and float all the way down. Time for Ocarina dive. So I hate you, this trick. Why don't you do cross version this? I forgot until like halfway through the run. <laughs> I love this West. So cool. Yeah. Coach that was a good one. You can actually stop like halfway up, and you can get the West from there even still. Yeah, if you cancel your hover. Yeah, if you. Just cancel Ocarina mid, like midway down. Yeah, because you just hover in the air. Yeah, it's great. It's it's fun. So if you weren't, if you missed the first dead hand fight, and if you missed the second one, you'll love the third one. We're gonna juke you out first. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I don't think any runner does that. No. No one does that. Oh, 
Are we putting the the Ellen Low Tad here? Ellen Tad. I love all these frame perfect save and resets. It's nice. Yeah. Just juke them out thinking I didn't save. But I thought the first time I was like, oh my god, that's, that's a scary reset, but. It's scary to do it. It's scary to do it. Uh, than you think. Like an RTA. Yeah, because yeah, you can do that RTA, but like, the it's... shot of you actually saving it is a lot, a lot slimmer. But. Uh, bugs, welcome back. I missed this... you. <laughs> the stream Hello, like darkness, my old friend. The stream <laughs> lagged right. for me when you did that Hess, and so to me it looked like you <laughs> it fucking crashed. <laughs> Hess crashed. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You really have enough time, doing like a lot of time, mini... to pull out that snake and skirt. Oh, you're not even doing the mini Hess here. No, I was gonna. If I was gonna do that, I was gonna Ooh, do it from. No, I was gonna. If I was gonna do it, I would have done it coming out of Kakariko. Like straight at the wall. But. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do it RTA because it, it's really easy on the bridge. It It's super free on the and bridge. It, and it doesn't even waste time because you need to wait for the two anyway. Yeah. It saves like. It wastes maybe like a little bit because you like. Pull the shoot a little bit later, but. So if you missed the first dot skip, you can get it a second time. We're doing the better one this time, or the better dot skip? The lunch storage. Mean? Oh, Captain. no. We're doing the same one. Yeah, I know. We just copy, <laughs> pa copy pasted the inputs. Yeah, shots to note my notepad for being like hundreds of lines long, just full. Of Pass inputs. <laughs> and discussing again, oh my god. Yeah, here's your next bathroom break. Oh, Tress, can you just fast forward, Kappa? <laughs> Wait, put in perspective, I have a thousand five hundred and twenty-three lines of just pass inputs. It's a lot. What if Tress actually does it? Just you didn't really just regular notepad, right? Yes, I I have a whole notepad, like a whole regular notepad file of just tas inputs. It is great. <laughs> Imagine having a notepad IRL where you write it down. <laughs> my God, I, I I'm not using a regular notepad. I can't read my own my own handwriting. <laughs> That's too much time. Hey, before you use Notepad, I used to take a picture of every single frame. Like, I used to take a picture of my TV every single frame oh, God. for inputs. It would take me like an hour or longer just for one thing. Yeah, well, I would not use regular Notepad. I use it sometimes for, like, it's, it's simple. You don't need, like, Word or whatever. Yeah, I'm using the straight regular Notepad. Default notepad that you get. I mean, I'm notepad plus plus is more just for code, you know. You don't yeah. really need notepad plus plus for just regular notes. <laughs> Default notepad will say that just Windows notepad. Yeah. There's also like WordPad. <laughs> oh god. It's just Notepad but a little like with more functionality. Jesus. You just use open office man. What is blue percent? Take it away, Aerith. Blue percent, the goal of this route is you're trying to get all 
blue items in your equipable inventory. So essentially it's like this. Anything that's on like Link's sword and shield hotbar thing, that's all going to be just stuff that has to be blue. So in there it's like you need at least one sword, like Master Sword or Bigoran Sword. You need what else is there? Silver Scale, uh, Blue Highland Tunic, shield. High Lane Shield. Um, I think that's most of the things that are on that side. And then... Um. Exhort and then in a Kylene shield, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everything in your equipable inventory, like your C button inventory, has to be blue. And if it's not blue, it has to be a bottle of fish. So at the end of the game, your entire C button inventory will be blue items and fish. And the blue items, oh, I'm going to go off the top of my head and you guys can help me out. Uh, so the blue items, bomb, bomb, bomb shoes, bomb shoes, hook shot. ocarina, hookshot, uh, bombs, bomb shoes, nope. ocarina of time, narrows love, ice arrows. Blue fire, um, blue fire, blue fire, fish, blue potion, blue ocean, fish. Kojiro, Kojiro, yeah. Well, not good. Any blue trading item. It can be oh. any like a blue trade item between child and adult, really. Kojiro okay. is just the most convenient. Yeah, Kojiro is just the easiest. Also, the probably the most blue. And then you also need to get the the blue gauntlets as well. Yeah, I don't know if Eric said that. that. And that's you also need the uh, water medallion and Zora's Zephyr, uh, Zora Zephyr and, and um, Serenade. Serenade of Water because they're all blue in the inventory. Yeah, Omega Law. It's pretty cool when you like watch the route. It's just a bit ridiculous conceptually. I'm so glad we figured out a way to get water medallion without getting Spirit and Shadow as well. Yeah, yeah, well, that would have. You been get easy. Shadow with. The RB, but yeah, yeah, but we don't get spirits, so we can skip lags. So I don't know why it took us so long to f find that RBA. Like for the longest time, I don't think we did it. We we just went to Water Temple. Nah, yeah, you just went to Water and beat it. We just went to Water and beat it. Yeah, instead of just dropping with dropping fish or dropping. Oh, we dropped the bugs. Yeah, just empty bottle. Gives you water and shadow, but not spirit. Yeah. So we talked a little bit about BA, but we didn't really talk about RBA. So RBA is reverse bottle venture. It's where you get a bottle on your B button, and instead of the game updating no, your B button based off of your C right item, it modifies your inventory based off your item on C right. So, in this case, we're going to start out with doing RBA with bottle on C right, which is going to put a bottle of bugs, or you can do a fish, and get a bottle of fish in your third bottle slot. And then we're going to move over to, I believe... Poe yeah, and then Lens of Truth, I think? We drop Lens of Truth and catch with Poe. Yeah. So dropping with Lens of Truth just puts a bottle on the on the Lens of Truth slot. And catching no, with Poe. Yeah. Catching with no, po it's the hammer is, slot. Oh, the hammer slot, yeah. And catching with Poe gives us 29 truths. Which is really nice to have. Yeah. For quick traveling. Which, shouts to me, I didn't do the Oh my... <laughs> Like the easiest as you could ever do. It is. And I didn't go for it. <laughs> it's alright, Dan. I said the same thing last night. <laughs> he did. I was like, why aren't you hessing? Yeah, you guys pre-watched it. I pre-watched it multiple I pre times. What do you I mean? I pre-watched it while recording it until my capture setup just shed itself in. I pre-watched pre it while working the thing. <laughs> yeah, you, you pre-watched it frame by frame. I made this thing frame by frame and watched it back numerous times. Yeah. Now you're probably wondering, egg? Keep that back in your mind. Yeah. It's It'll come in handy later. Uh, Shouts to someone who couldn't be here. Uh, Kazdalek, aka Kita. Oh, Kita. <laughs> you can make it. I'm not even doing the, the fast, like, chew drop, too. Don't, don't mention that. I, I said the you same thing again. 
<laughs> Dude, great minds finger like, right? <laughs> I was like, why are you using a you to put your sword away fast? <laughs> out of sight, yeah. out of mind, you didn't see it. Fuck the second team. Sorry, I had to say yeah. it. <laughs> I, I don't know how ZSR is with the racing, but I had the to. The legend has spoken. Yeah, this is a pretty f famous clip of me. Um, Wasn't it like a bingo or something? Yeah, you it, was a it was a short bingo. Oh, you got yeah, that and, added a bingo. Yeah, oh, and yeah. I, I was doing it as a child and I fell down like multiple times and I just screamed at the top of my lungs. You got stuck multiple times, so you just had to side hop out of there. And... Yeah, it was... It's a just just type bleep the second team in YouTube and you'll find it should be the first result. Oh yeah. So we're gonna be dying here in a little bit. That's why we used like six bomb shoes to go down the half a heart. And here's another really slow dead hand fight for you, Dan. Yeah, I I seen this and I recorded. <laughs> Just, just run around him. <laughs> He's turning so slow. I'm really playing the L on the wall out here, guys. If you if you didn't believe me the first time, <laughs> <laughs> I could have ran through him probably and got the second hit. Mm -hmm. Nice uh, damage buffer there. Are you actually? I don't think you buffered. No, it was a buffer. Yeah, but I mean you're already dead, so. Oh, yeah. You can oh. like take two hits if you time it correctly with the chest. Well, ultimately I wanted to do that, but the deck not buffered it instead, so. Mm. It worked out either way. I saw the P2. I I thought about rolling. And then doing like, up for, like back, back walking it, but. I think setup in there is faster because like, you go up the stairs. Side hopping. Yeah, I mean side hopping. So general like movement without like opponent or Hessian. Um, back walking is generally the fastest form of movement. Rolling with the second fastest being you accelerate and then decelerate. Um, when it comes to going up slopes, generally you want to side hop up them. Yeah. Otherwise, if it's something like Death Mountain Trail, you're mainly gonna just want to back walk that. Yeah. Oh, I always think of the Dragon Force song in this. Who to find the <laughs> <game> carry on? <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, if you have like bombs and or like bomb trees and Hessian in, is always gonna be faster. In the RTA record, I think I get hit like a fourth by three or four flames. <laughs> I got like a 55 or something. I think this is a 47. Yeah, I think it's barely 47. So yeah, it's like a couple frames. It's like early two or three frames of a 47. I've never gotten a 46 in my whole life, and I've been speedrunning this game one on a for over a decade. I think I got a 46 once. But it was like a very casual playthrough. We're really seeing some deja vu, Jesus. Yeah, this is just like hydrophobia, but with more water. Yeah. Nice instant camera angle. Yeah, that's a good one. Pretty precise. There is a way you can just line up top of the stair there. I don't know it, but... You oh, can just... grab with a grabbing, yeah. Yeah, I don't know it, though. The roof! The roof! Nice. Oh, shout outs to uh, the Z targeting community because this was all done on the uh, Switch targeting instead First. of hold. Cursed. Or it might be the other way around. Switch is so cursed. I don't know how. Oh, this was. Some, yeah. some people speedrun with it, like ZFG. Well, okay, so to be fair. When switched. you're tasking, it doesn't really matter yeah, on really what good. targeting method you use. But generally, like, hold targeting is the best targeting. Yeah. I, I gotta admit, target. like, when I started speedrunning a game, 
I also use Switch. Um, I switched when I was running um, Defeat Ganon. Oh, yeah. Then there was any person. And the, the, the first setup for, for Void Warp required you to do whole targeting. That's when I switched. I, God, I remember that. But I wasn't I said I never switched. I wasn't said I never switched back. Yeah. It's just so much more intuitive. Like, hold, you target it, release, you're on, you're on target. Like, you so here's a... Here's Doom Jump. Hookshot Jump. Nah, it's Doom I, Jump, bro. I hate it when people call it Doom Jump. We're dying to our... We're, we're falling to our doom. It's Doom Jump, man. It's because like this was originally found in 3D by a guy called Doom Doom or something. No, is that how that came from? I'm pretty or? sure that's it, why people. Well, Hokchan Jump War is very different in OT 3D because the way Hookshot Jump works in 3D is since Iron Boots and Hover Boots is an equip item like on your X Y button one and two, uh, Wing just hops up and down. Like he hops when you equip and unequip him. So if you interrupt that, then you go flying up, but I don't think yeah, it actually Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was something, something that, that was called Doom, and people just, like, used to Where's Ben Stevens when you need him? Yeah, he, he will know, yeah. Ben Stevens would know. He's been running that game since, like, early, since early when it came out. Ben Stevens 1056. You're gonna skip Mido soon. Yup. Oh, you avoid damage here. You actually wanna. I think. You normally wanna take. Fall damage here too, right? To get onto Papa Heart. I still took damage, I think. I took enough damage. Yeah, you take damage from the. From jumping, from blowing up, blowing up the bullets. No, oh wait, you you would not take damage there. You won't from that one. You won't. No, one more you will. Yeah, you want to take like two hits. Yeah, you want to take damage from the bomb there, and then from blowing up that grotto. Yeah, like in, then... in, I would take like I would take damage from the fall, and then I would avoid damage on the boulders. Oh, and I take yeah. damage again when I when I open the grotto. Yeah, because then we take a fall here for uh, Deathless Minuet. Yeah. So most cutscene, like most song cutscenes in this game, you get the song either at the very beginning. In some cases you get th it three times in the cutscene. Uh, in this case, we get it right as the cutscene starts. So if we can void out or die at the start, we skip the whole cutscene, mm -hmm. and we yeah. still end up getting the song at the same time. So we're just doing a, a deathless version of this. Interesting, you don't keep hovers equipped. I thought about it. I mean, you have here, so... Yeah. I'll tell you, I'll tell you wouldn't really do this. You want has the Deku? What? Yeah, you would, but like you would not has to the... You would just roll towards this group of platform. No. I mean, I tried getting it with a roll, I couldn't get it, so I just... No, you would just, from... just hover and just grab the, grab the ledge. Oh, from the, from yeah. The, from from the shop, shop roof. No. I guess I'm just that outdated in, in some things yes. in this game. I took, a very, I took a very big break between... Yeah. Like running and just making for for the longest time i would actually do the super set on the fence but then i realized that's what can, I, that's what i did we can, we can get a free one. we can get a free like red ruby there and it's not even it's it's like also faster i think it is yeah so it's it's like double save time it's double time save i did the also... super side in both the 2018 and the original yeah because we out this route we can skip another um red rupee because we yeah we skipped actually, the... Do need some rupees in this. Yeah. We need to buy the blue potion in the end, which is like a hundred rupees. A hundred rupees. Yeah. 
And then you need another 20 for the diving game. And another 10 for magic beans. Well, yeah. Not yeah, so basically, um, at this point, all the rupees we get, apart from like 10, are actually needed. Yeah, you need 130 rupees total. So we do need to get the big water too. Yeah. Do by RBA. Shouts to GZ for frame perfect sun plan. Yeah. How stupid it is. It's time for the forest temple. Oh, yes. Forest, my beloved. I nice, love always like that. Yeah, it's the it. swag I love strat. That yeah, just slash it and roll under it. Oh, we skip in this cutscene. That's nice. So Pretty sure just... it's still faster, anyways. Yeah, if you just catch a fish in the middle of the cutscene, and you skip half the cutscene. I think it's. I think it would. Like it's only used in hundred percent because like you can still access the elevator. But yeah, it's faster. Early hundo routes, we would actually do this to get like one gold skulltula. Uh. Get the gold skull down there in the basement, then we just ride it back up. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. But I think it's also faster if you don't need to go down there. Yeah. Because you get to move sooner. Yeah. There's certain cases where you want to do it and certain cases where you don't. I have noticed, but... Most of the time you just generally want to do it. Yeah, I should learn it. I don't actually know the frame. Neither do I. I just well, a lot of people like will drop the fish and then they'll slash their sword and use a Q from the sword, yeah, like the yeah, sword exactly. smash, and then recatch them. Yeah, I never learned that one, so. So in case you guys don't know, the way you can tell the difference is uh, the real one is brighter, and this is the only one that makes noise. Yep. Yeah. This is the real spin the win right here. Before spin we had SRM, this is our spin the win. There it is, Garen mains unite. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Same. I was actually dizzy making this. <laughs> oh my god, I can't I, look at this. I'm literally getting <laughs> dizzy, I'm not even joking. I mean, there, there's not much you can really do in between waiting. I mean, if, yeah. if you watch like Homer Funky's MSD test, you can do like some side flips and like a recoil ESS. That's really almost as much as you can do. Uh, if you really want, you could do FPG to save some frames pulling out the hook shot, but... FP... wait, FPG? Uh, there's a way... I like, do e shield... I know EPG, but... No, yeah, so FPG works by... Um, going to seal up while recoiling damage from like a bomb or something, so you're able to run while in first person. Oh, oh that, okay. And, yeah. First person link. Yeah, and so it it does save like a couple frames pulling out any first person item. Mm -hmm. So here we have a similar deal to what we did with Forest Wind earlier, but we just die instead. So yeah. like we activate the blue warp and die on a certain frame. Die on the frame will... where it would take us up, and then we just uh, like the game just warps us to the start of the dungeon, but gives us the Forest Medallion. Yeah. Just to skip the cutscene. This is a very long cutscene as well, because you and have the Oh, yeah. You have the Deku, Deku Sprout cutscene as well. Yeah, it's a long cutscene. It's a Forest Temple in itself. This is like one of the hardest rooms to pause buffer in. Yeah, it's kind of terrible. It's, it's even worse that when DC... you're in Aerith and plays on uh, Emulator. Dude, when I played on emulator when I didn't have a Wii for like a very small I love this right here too it's so funny <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yeah I like the food yeah. we're so fast way. that the the load zone just doesn't work correctly so we just jump slash back in yeah can you like just back on void out oh yeah <laughs> I, I've done that before like, I was curious when I was making this, like, the first time, and I just backwalked, and I just straight up voided out. <laughs> yeah. Like, alright, it's either I can wait, I can slash the wall and kill my speed, or I can just jump slash back in. I went for the third option. 
So here's a adult door time skip. Um, it's a little bit easier. A little bit easier. Yeah. Because you can just recall with this hopefully. setup. Um, the typical setup does not work like that. We use a shadow does not work as adult. Adult link is just a little bit bigger than the gap in the wall, so we actually need to yeah, recoil to boost our way out. We need enough speed to clip in, or if we had like nice giant sniper broke or like a uh, big orange sword, we can just like triple slash in. Going through now, right? Yeah. Oh wait, no man. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. We're, oh, we we're do this now. Okay, yeah, I know. I know now what we're doing. With the RBA and then, then the main yeah, point of the, the run. We're setting up the the main yeah. attraction of this run. This, I want this, to explain it, that one. You will never ever like. I can promise you will never <laughs> ever see this thing in any other I run. Guess, I guess I could explain the main for attraction it. here, unless. Ah, go for it. You can. Okay. I could as well, but. Um, first more RBA. <laughs> yeah, so we RBA hookshot, which puts a bottle in our ice air slot. Yeah. Um, I think we also RBA more chooser as well. I didn't see if we had. Po. I forget what we all RBA there. You swipe um, some. You swipe lens as well. I think oh, you. Oh yeah. You dropped hookshot and swipe the lens. I think. That's yeah. What you do there. Oh yeah. So we swipe on the lens. Just to put swipe, on that swipe meaning we uh, do shenanigans to override the lens with fish. Yeah, and then we drop on hookshot, which puts a bottle on our ice arrow slot. Yeah, that's correct. Just to make the the chest opening a lot quicker. So instead of the whole animation, he just kicks it. Yeah, that and another thing later. It, it helps a little thing later. Um, so the whole main attraction we're talking oh, about <laughs> is. It involves equip swap, which we kind of briefly talked talked about earlier in Hydrophobia. Yeah. But the the main juicy thing about this run that's a blessing and a curse is oil trick called Fake Cucko. And what Fake Cucko is, is where we equip the real Cucko C right and we equip swap it again onto any C button. I chose yeah. C left here for this case. And what's going to happen is. We can advance the trade quests to keep going up to wherever we want to stop to. While the game doesn't update both C buttons, it only updates your real one. Yeah. So we can keep the, the cuckoo, like the pocket cuckoo on C the whole time, even yeah. though we already are further into the Yeah, so you, you'll notice uh, C right is the real cuckoo, but the game puts... Kojiro on the C left, so we have to do some little weapon shuffling around. Janky swap. Yeah, so we have to do some janky swap. Um, so we just saw Kuko is on C left, but Blue so, Kuko is in the inventory. Uh, keep that in the back of your mind. All yeah, I'm gonna say. So the, so the the fake Kuku, like the 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 white Kuku, has to stay on C for a, a long time. Let's go. I think it's like a long time. Is half the run. It's like. It's like, it's like, like 20 what? minutes or something. It's, it's a lot. 25 it's, minutes? Yeah. So, like, if we ever equip over that right now, like, in an RTA, the run will be over. Yeah, run with instant die. Yeah. So we're basically limited to only two C buttons now. That was a really delayed grab, I don't know why. Yeah. He, like, fell halfway down. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised he actually grabbed still. It's just the L and low tad. Yeah, the, the low, low yeah. tad, like L O W tad. Yeah, we, got, we have to scratch a W in, in between. Yeah. And we can just show the fake Kojiro. Or like the real Kojiro. But Kojiro yeah. Fake, huh? Oh, if I just dabs right there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Have we ever explained Hessing? We have not. So, so Hessing, actually, you can explain it. So if Hessing, it. if you, so Hessing works by like you roll into an, like you need basically you need something that can damage you on multiple frames, like bombs or truce, explosions in general. 
And by rolling into it, and then pressing Z and R on the second frame of damage, uh, Link just gets shoot gets shot backwards, basically. And then by um, carefully like moving our control stick left and right while staying in the ESS position, we can change our angle. And ESS, ESS position is just the smallest input that the game considers an input, basically. Yeah. Like it's just outside of that, just outside of that zone. Yeah, it's like ten units out of the dead zone. Yeah, and like it's like nine to twenty-seven or something. Yeah, it's like yeah, nine twenty-seven. But if you want to curve like back walks, you have to be within nine to ten units. Yeah, if you go, notch. If, if you go like ten, you start a step. If you go nine, then it curves. Like it's really precise. Well, it, it still curves on 10, it's just like 11 or yeah, like 11, 11, it breaks, 8, yeah. you don't really curve. So you want 9 or 10, usually we go for 9. Yeah. So yeah, that's Hessing, basically. Just a very fast form of Yeah. Shots to not side hopping there? Yeah. This is a fun Shout RBA segment. Shoutouts for to Sadox for this setup where you just drop the chew. Yeah, this setup's high. And, just and initial it, drop chew. It, it just so happens that it explodes the, the bush later. Setup's awesome, dude. Yeah. I love this setup. Like, it just runs around the room and ends exactly where we, where we need it to be. But also it blows up the gossip stone, so we have a rocket flying. Yeah. Like a rocket right around. <laughs> It's yeah. convenient because as soon as we warp out, that sucker launches with us. It's perfect timing. We should have, like, turned the camera more, so... To, to see it, yeah. You see it, yeah. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, you saw it. Like, it's a little Easter egg they added. If you blow up a gossip zone, it just turns into a rocket. Yeah, it's just so funny. Yeah, it, it goes, like, it, it blinks three times and then... Yeah. It just launches to space. Very great. There you go, got the clip there. So, right now it's just trade sequence we're doing right now. Yeah. Up Similar to like Hydrophobia, just yeah. a bunch of trade quests. Sequence. Gotta go get John Kramer's favorite, favorite tool again the oh saw. Oh, the saw. <laughs> the saw. Yeah. <laughs> That's an insider joke between us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's the photo for having the saw in the first place. She's part of the Fado. <laughs> yeah, Fado this is yeah, this yeah, is my little sister. Oh, for those who okay. didn't know in chat, I yeah, actually, they're, they're related. I actually did not know that. Mido is the brother, and Fado is the sister. Like I knew her name was Fado, but I didn't know they were brothers and yeah. sisters. I think it said that in like the the OG Ocarina of Time handbook that they're related. Oh, okay. oh yeah, the handbook. The astute viewer who had the handbook when they bought the game. So I'm I'm not pulling these trees out just to like lose time. Um, you'll see why I'm like I specifically want eight bomb chews. There's a reason for that. You'll see it later. Okay, interesting. Uh, it would be faster to pull out bombs. Nice though. distance flip. Wait, no, it's not distance. Um... Just a mega. Just a mega flip. This this clip is surprisingly lenient. Yeah. Can you even do a distant flip off of a bomb chew? I guess so. I guess if you cook the bomb chew longer, I guess. Yeah, you just. But... Let him cook. <laughs> yeah, let him cook. So shouts to this uh, this grotto. This is what maybe had to redo the hydrophobia low tad. Oh, because you into the water. Yeah, I took one step into there and didn't realize it until like a year after I opened oh that video. Oh my god! So I redid it to what you to what we just witnessed. <laughs> yeah, free bombs, nice. It's always always good to get free bombs. Might as well get them. We're here. Doesn't well, has here. Not saving yeah. those like that second or whatever. 
Took a second to get him. I immediately okay. lost that second. It's like two seconds to pick that safe. Yeah. Nice fess. I wasn't gonna give you two A sides in a row. The astute viewer will notice that the the potato is brown on C, but blue in the mouth. Um the game can't process moldy uncooked potatoes apparently. Oh uh, because like the yeah, I mean it's because the game never expects Link adult thing to pull out the fairy ocarina. It, it's actually kind of funny like if you don't have an ocarina but you are like Zelda's lullaby or Requiem of Spirit the game just gives you the ocarina of time it's it doesn't make any sense but it just does So, great fairies. Who likes them? God, they're terrifying. They're not better in OT 3D. I'll tell you that. Less polygons, at least. Or more polygons, so they're not as triangular. Yeah, definitely. I'll be going from here. Yeah, it's a little bit faster to go from here. Going to Gerudo Valley next. Yep. Going from Prelude is safer, but yeah, time of day wise, yeah. Time of day wise, it's safe. It's a safer option. But I think it, I think at time like it's almost the same. Like, it is. It's like five seconds faster, maybe. But like yeah. it also comes with the risk of like if you don't do it well, you're gonna be. Really tight on time yeah. of day. It's like There's one of the, the the. That's probably like when routing this time of day oh, yeah. is probably the biggest like obstacle because we do need to get um, fire arrows, and we do need it to be like morning for that. So like yeah. a lot of the routing comes down to like how can we like minimize the the, the waiting. Um, that you we say have to this do now, there. but um. Stay tuned. Yeah, I, I know it's different in this route. Like, it's it's pretty pretty good in this route. Like, there's almost no waiting. Yeah. It, it's amazing how, like, we have to route this whole category based off the fire arrows. Yeah. But then as soon as we get, like, the groove for it, it we really don't have much waiting. Yeah, I also wanna um, I also wanna shout out Exodus for finding a Crisswap because oh yeah, I don't know if Lawrence remembers, but for the longest time, Blue Percent would just skip fires because there was no way to override them because like RBA R RBA wouldn't like work, but then Exodus found uh, a Crisswap and that I I I remember vividly like immediately trying it out. On fires and seeing and and I was really excited and told Lawrence like, dude, this works. Like we can finally override fire arrows. I do remember. We can yeah. finally fill the whole inventory and not just have that one spot empty. Because <laughs> we Exodus just this is a real one. Yeah, because we just skipped the fire arrows completely because there was no way to turn them blue. So, but then it it, it introduced this whole thing with you know having time of day, be correct, yeah. correct. So. It's like a blessing and a curse, I guess. So, Speaking of blessings yeah. and curses, yeah, device here's arrows. Where, here's where we're gonna restrict ourselves to just one C button for a while. Yeah. Because we need to equip this bottle now. It needs to stay on C. This is very important. At, if we, at, yeah, if if we for whatever reason like now, if we equip over the bottle on C down or the cuckoo uh, runs over. Yeah. Yep. Thankfully, I think the the bottle is not on C as long as the cuckoo. Uh, no, definitely not. Like, it's like five minutes or something. It's like five, yeah, it's five minutes, if that. Yeah, so right now we can only use one. Four and a half, minimum. In this case, 
in this case the one with the hookshot is on right now that's the only c button we can actually change right now yeah but it was very important that we equip the bottle before like the bottle on the ice arrow slot before actually getting the ice arrows you'll know you'll see why you'll see why later I think I'll have you explain why that bottle is significant and is why we have to equip it. I think you know yeah, more like, about it than I do. I guess I'll explain it once, it, like yeah, like once it comes up, once once it resolves. Because I think why. I think you know more about that trick than I do. Yeah, like like I know why it works. I just don't know like the intricacies of it. Also, sorry, Dan. I didn't do the I, nosy hester. I don't know if I actually can explain it much better than you can. Then, like, I also I know how I know why I, I know like why it happens, but right. I guess it doesn't really matter who explains it then when it comes up. <laughs> yeah. Just, I'm gonna say this, like, it's it's good because it skips Jabber. Yeah, definitely. Nice lever super slide. Thanks. But I dropped the SS way too late. Yeah. We're waiting on the on the Gwei anyways, so it doesn't really matter when I yeah. change to an ESS. So Okay, I guess for this for this word it doesn't matter if your time of day is good or not. No, nah, because Requiem just changes it to like early, like by like afternoon. Yeah, it... because we actually do get the song in this. Yeah. For as far long... as I know, there really isn't a way to like skip this cutscene either. To skip like the Requiem cutscene. Yeah, I, I think I I think you cannot die. So, no, I think if you if you die, it definitely just you, keeps you, playing. Yeah, you die after the cutscene. Shoutouts to V two or V three where we wrong warped into this cutscene from Deck Tree. Just the old hundred percent when we used to route wrong warp here as adult. We, yeah, we used to wrong warp into this cutscene. Turn around, get the chest, and watch the cutscene again. But it skipped you know, the whole like going through the wasteland and stuff so it yeah i mean this is all around like, like i said there's been four or five different iterations of this route i get the joke there i i get that joke all right that's a funny one right there wait what uh in the, the chat force, oh what did zelda tell link yeah, when you can move the heavy boulder try force try force that's a good one that, that's yeah so yeah. Oh. So first we're gonna equip our fish to drop. We're gonna drop fish, and then we're gonna equip ice arrows, and then we're gonna shield swipe that. So we now have a nice. We now have a bottle on our bow slot, mm -hmm. oh, and bottle. like a bottle of fish in our bow slot. Yeah. So that just it's it's just so we can get drops. Yeah. Well, Kojiro lets us get drops. It's more or less. Yeah, we, we can uh, get them, but we, we can't hold them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like, you need to... In order to get arrows or bomb drops, you have to have a bomb bag and oh, something yeah. in your bomb slot. And same with, like, arrows. For, yeah. Like, quiver and something. Yeah, you need, you need to have a quiver and something in your bow slot. Thankfully, it can be anything. It doesn't need to be actual bombs. It can just be a yeah. throttle. Just, just don't a, get it's, it's the bombs from piece. source with just that, or else... Yeah, then you get bomb back. <laughs> then you get bomb back in your bomb, bomb fuse slot. You can you can equip bomb back to see, and if you RBA, you get thirty-seven water double keys, I yeah, think. Well, yeah, 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 thirty-seven yeah. water double keys. Or no, you get like thirty-one, but then you yeah you pick up yeah. Did you, you get the six from that? Yeah. Yeah. Shots to the ZFG for making the the thirty-seven water temple keys route. It's a legendary so, route. You might be wondering why do we get silver gun? That's that's because um, we we will turn them blue later for yeah. RBA shenanigans. Basically, based on 
base you can get different colored gauntlets based on uh like if you rba kojiro or rba um, pocket coco you can based on what i what strength item you had before you get different colors you can get black blue green and bronze yeah, so if you have no gauntlets, you'll get black gauntlets, mm -hmm. which is the yeah. same effect as gold gauntlets. Um, silver gauntlets, you get blue. And ground bracelet. Uh, gold. gold. Bronze is ground bracelet, and I think gold is, you get green, right? Yeah, yeah, ground bracelet is like green. Yeah, ground bracelet yeah. is green. And then bronze you get from gold. Yeah. Shots hey, not hey. picking up one of those bomb drops. Yeah. And wasting time later. Oh, yeah. In DC. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. All right. right, we wasted time anyways with one, with the equip in DC, but we saved the text box. Okay, More on that later. Uh, hooks jump. Oh, no, wait. Co collection. Is this, collection delay know. first. Collect, yeah, collection so, delay. We get collection delay, which is just by side upping over a, any item with the text box. So, like in this case, the Gold Skull token. And we delay it in this case with Ocarina, but you can, so, I think, delay it with like Hookshot or. I think even bottle or something. I don't even quite remember. Um, so that next time we actually load the gold skeletal with like a hook shot, we just kind of store the velocity and you store the like really high. velocity or something. Yeah. Just to having to waste the magic here. Yeah, this kind of sucks. <laughs> it looks funny though. It's funny, but it it sucks. Yeah. We we do need a regular just a regular arrow for fire arrows to work. So right now we just have to waste time because we need to wait for morning for the fire arrows yeah. to spawn. So we're just hessing around. Yep, just taking a nice little tour of Lake Hylia. It's a wonderful lake. It's missing the water though. So yeah, like the reason we had to waste magic is because we need we in order to spawn fire arrows, we need to fire a non magical arrow. And thankfully, if you have ice arrows but no magic, you should shoot a normal arrow. So you can just yeah. that way you can because we don't actually have the normal bow, so we wouldn't be able to use a normal arrow. But if we waste our magic, we can just. Shout nice out to like Gwei. Just barely went right by us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now, now we're gonna do a big old yeet over to the fire arrows. Yep. Where are we dropping, boys? That's the real question here. So, where do those claw marks come from? The what? Mo the claw mark? Like yeah, the, the claw marks. Tree, yeah. the uh, I'm guessing. I'm guessing Morpha. Like, yeah, isn't Morpha did it? Like, I know for a long time we were, people were saying Morpha, but I feel like that's. I just feel like that's not right. Ganon. Yeah. So here's a quip swap again. Wait, let's uh, see what Google equip... says. Where do the claw marks on the <laughs> LH? Three O T come from. Yeah, so there's a uh, equips up again. We equips up the fish over the fire arrow, so that uh, it puts oh, a yeah, yeah. bottle on our fire arrow slot. Yeah, like you equip up fire arrows and then you just catch and drop and then just walk uh, the wrong slot. No clue if they're in chat, but shouts to Blinny for this Zora domain yeah, this is, this entry, entry setup. Nice. She had a setup on this. From like five years ago or something. Hey, please. And now we just need to get the the best tunic in the game. So without blue fire, the only other way we can do this is by pulling up like a cutscene item, like a trade quest, or we can talk to the sign and load King Zora, and then just simply reload the area. He's unloaded. Uh, I'm not too sure why that works, but it it's used in this case for that. Alternatively, if you're on 1.0, you can actually hold R during that cutscene, that text, and you can get uh, eyeball frog early. 
So people thinking it's it's like somehow like the marks on the tree, like game theories like it was Dark Link because there's a tree in Dark Link's room too. Uh, oh yeah, Dark Link true. practicing on on the, on the tree. I don't know. That's just I just read it on, on some random. Forum. I can I can see that one. No, I, what the you're not even hesitating here. What the, I said no. the same thing. Oh my god, man. Dude, this is when this was like. It's not even a hard hess. No, but it was like 3 a.m. when this when I was redoing this part. Oh. Shouts to having redo this, the second half of this run, twice in one whole day. <laughs> I was very tired and very mad. You're a trooper, though, man. I'm so I'm so glad that you did this. Like, I I've always been a really really big fan of this route, but like I always felt like it was really under underappreciated the work that's be, like going on and like there's not many runs on the board yeah it's good to have a good but update maybe to maybe this showcase on a pretty big pretty big platform is gonna give it more attention and maybe some people are inclined to maybe pick it up during it um yep. more people later on this route oh it's good um it i do want to say it is probably a little bit hard to learn because like the re like there's not like a tutorial or anything. I mean we have this we have the server with all the stuff, but like yeah, I don't know. I don't wanna say it feels elitist, but Right, no, definitely. Like Like it, it's a fun and different route than you see usually on like the typical leaderboard. Um <laughs> But once you actually get into it, it's actually really fun. Yeah. To... It just that what I always loved about it is um, the unique tricks, like for yeah. example, the, this thing with the fake cuckoo. And like fake cuckoo, the, and then... the, the, the other thing that's gonna come up soon that I don't want to spoil. Um, it's like a couple like you, minutes. Like away. I said, you will never see these things in any other run. And just. Just so many unique challenges with represent routing. Yeah. Like time of day, for example. Like time of day is like the that. biggest thing that sucks when it comes to routing it. Yeah, it it, it it sucks, but it's like in this route is like you still have to wait a little bit, but But it's not that much it, it's, time. It's not like like in other routes, oh you you fail time of day stuff, oh uh, now you're gonna waste a bunch of time there because you have to wait a whole extra day cycle. And, and since we enter the temple and like reset the time, it's always gonna be the same. And you can even save in the temple, so it's pretty safe as well. You can just save there, and if you fail, collection delay or just reset. I mean, you're gonna lose time, obviously, but yeah, it's just. And you have to do an like, extra RBA. Like almost a little bit more. Almost a bit, a little bit more beginner friendly. My stream is buffering for some reason. Hello. Hello. Okay, you guys can still hear me, okay. Um, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you, you, you're good, you. I'm just gonna refresh this to... Yeah, sorry, my stream just started buffering. Oh, it's muted. Um, yeah, so that's our Ice Cavern trip done. Uh, pretty short one, just to do get blue fire and then just to do yeah, uh, a dupe. Get... Yeah, because we need to get at least one blue fire. It's blue, you know, blue in the name, so... Yes, yeah, so now... We're gonna do another RBA. Uh, this one's gonna be with Pocket Coco on C, right? So it's gonna give us a, it's gonna give us Giant's Wallet, and it's also gonna give us our Blue Balance as well. No, it's gonna give us Adult's Wallet, not Giant's Wallet. Giants oh yeah, Adult's. My bad. Yeah, and also give us uh, the Blue Gauntlets, right? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, now we'll so now we have our our correct color of Gauntlet choice. Yeah. And so when we said keep the Coco back in your mind, this is that reason because. We, um, it turns out that even if you've advanced the trade quest with her, if you give her the pocket cuckoo, it resets her flag. So now we can actually get Kojiro again. Yeah, because we so want to end, end on Kojiro. Yep, so at this point, fake cuckoo is basically done. We now yeah. kind of have two C binds out of the three again. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the bottle is still has to stay on C. Yeah, bottle still has to be there for a little bit longer, but, but fake our... cuckoo is, is done. Yeah, fake cuckoo is now not fake cook anymore. It's just we just have Kujira now, which is the one we want to end on because it's blue. Wait. 
Oh, right, I forgot you, you just sell. Yeah, we sell, and then we sell the ones here, right? Then we just RBA that bottle. Yeah. For some reason, I thought we still get the the chest in the grotto here. Um, if you were down rupees, you still could. Even if you were if, if you were down rupees, you'd get the crate, and then if you were really low in rupees, yeah. you could get the one in the grotto too. But yeah, so they have blue potion. Obviously, you gotta get blue potion because it's blue. Yep, have an RB and in this. Gives, us gives you adult adult trade. I don't remember. No child. Trade, no child. Child trade. Green yeah. potion is a uh, adult. Do you have a bottle on the B button? Uh, right now, yes, we do. He said, "How? Uh, oh, so how that, do you have?" Um, there's multiple ways to do it. Yeah. So the the most kind of easy, simple way is uh, we get quick draw on B, and the way we do that is, well, there's multiple ways to get uh, quick draw. The easiest is just to pull out your sword before you land in the water, and then the next time you press B, your your B button. Your sword just instantly comes out. But if you do this with like a bottle in your hand first, the game can't pull out your sword, so he just keeps the bottle in your hand. But the game remembers what the last button you pressed was was B, mm -hmm. so when you shield swipe, he swings the bottle, and then it just puts a B but uh, bottle on your B button. Yeah, or it's the last press button, which is, in this case, B. So, easiest way to think about it is uh, your B button is just a fourth C button. Basically. You just can only equip swords to it, but with and what's neat about bottle and B is that it actually writes items into our inventory based on the item on C right. Yeah. Just by if you update, so since the game never expects you to update the bottle, uh, update um, the B button with a bottle, like or with like fish or whatever. Um, the way the game determines where to write that data is by looking at the C left button or C right button. Yeah, so like the most common it just, it just it just overflows into parts of memory where you're not supposed to like write bytes. So that's 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 RBA. Yeah. RBA. Point. The most common RBA you'll see is for like bomb chews. Uh, yeah, Poe, so yeah. the game so you dump it reads what's on your bomb your C right slot. In this case it's Poe. Poe has a value of twenty nine, so when you drop and catch You'll go. You'll get twenty nine bomb shoes. Yeah, because Paul links to the bomb shoe amount. Yeah. So it basically, if you update, if you update uh, the B uh, the B button with a box, box is twenty nine. It 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 writes the value of the box onto the pole, which links to the shoe, so you get twenty nine shoes. So if you remember, we were talking about why bottle and C down is so important, and if we equip over it, the run is over. Um, if you've noticed in our pause screen, we have the ice arrow icon in our inventory, but mm -hmm. bottle on C down. Uh, what's going to happen is the next time we go back adult, the game. So when you go child and adult in this game, it stores what you have on the your C buttons and your B button so that it can kind of update them in a way. So if you've ever had like bottle of bugs on your adult C button and then a regular bottle on your child, when you go back in time, it's going to put bugs in that bottle because it has to update and keep it the same between the two. Yeah. In this case, since we have bottle on our C button and ice arrow in our inventory slot, when we go adult, instead of it putting like the typical ice arrow with the bow on C, it's going to put the actual icon of the, ice arrow the on plain, our... The plain ice arrow. The plain ice arrow on our C. Because normally if you equip the, the ice arrow, the ice arrows from the inventory, it goes over your, over to your bottle and then goes to C. But now with this back in time bottle, that's what this trick is called. We can bypass that step and just write the plain ice arrows onto, onto C. And the reason we have, why we want this on C is because this item links to the boomerang slot. So if we now drop and catch with this on C right, it will write a bottle onto our boomerang slot, which lets us completely bypass Jabu Jabu. Because like this is like the like boomerang is like one of the other things that yeah boomerang would be kind is of one... a pain to get. 
Ju yeah, yeah. We, we have to do it for slingshot in this route still because we don't have anything that links there, there. there's like nothing that we as far as i know there's nothing that a will put a bottle on that slot or b there's no like easy way to get it besides just yeah. going straight for it but it's yeah. back in time ice Arrow works quicker enough for this because a no one wants to see a mega side hop above the espo of wire for jabu and no one wants to see jabu in general yeah. so it's funny it's super simple but we skip all the water based and we <laughs> exactly skip all, skip all the water based dungeons by rbaing <laughs> exactly it's like the precursor to the hydrophobia but uh now it's just kind of child cleanup which is pretty small it's just kind of dense fire uh, and i get think just white beans a lot of yeah magic beans and uh, do, beans. A lot of, do a lot of shield swapping to override all the all the non-blue items yeah so the run's we, almost over i don't think you explained shield swapping so uh we vaguely did um yeah. if you want to take it away you can um so basically if you like i don't know if i can explain this very well um uh so maybe you can water do it better. so yeah so shield swiping basically um when you when you pull out bottle and your shield it's like you pull you press the ball button and then hold r to kind of crouch and shield if you hold z and then walk into and hold c and r as soon as you let go of your shield wink will just automatically swipe the bottle mm -hmm. if you press another c button item so in this case let's say ocarina while you're still crouched and then as soon as you hold z and then go back to that other c button wink will swipe the bottle but it's going to put a bottle over the last c item you pressed so mm -hmm. in this case ocarina yeah. so it'll just put a bottle over the ocarina yeah so similar to how we do bottle on b yeah we just set to with a c button and then when we when we say water type we mean like we don't go see jabu jabu we don't go see water temple uh any kind of a dungeon where we get an item we don't really go to it besides like Dodongo Scavern. <laughs> Evan's asking again. What's your... So, blue percent, um, the goal is to get um, everything in your inventory, every, everything that's blue, and everything that is not blue by default, you need to turn it into a bottle of fish or into blue fire or blue potion, basically. And you also need to get um, blue tunic, blue gauntlets, which is uh, also done by RBA. And you need to get serenade of water. Um, rec no, Serenade Water, Water, Med Temple, Water Medallion, and Zora Sapphire, and, and Highland, Zora Scale as well. Highland Shield, and either Master or, Bicker or Bickeron Sword, because they're blue. Yeah. And, yeah. And, like, bombs, you need to have bombs, Ocarina, Hookshot, Bomb Choose, Neighbors, Neighbors Love, Love, Ice um, Arrow. Ice Arrows, because they're blue by default, you need to have them in, in, in your inventory. You could stop with big on like the broken sword, but uh, we just stop at Kajero because it's the most convenient. Yeah, you could also just stop at the eye drops. It's also blue. Or or eye drops, yeah. But Kajero is just the easiest to get, and like there's no timer. Like eye drop has timer, and like what do you do when timer oh, runs yeah. out? You can always yeah. freeze the timer. Yeah, but it's that's kind of a little more a little more complicated. Yeah. Shout us to the only platform break that you have in this route. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is like the only bathroom break we have outside of, well, now actually it's the only one. No, there's original going into ult. Yeah, mess. Yeah, if you're fast, you can do it while you pull. If like, you do, when if you you're really fast, yeah. Yeah, get to do fast. P I mean, we're speedrunners, so we want to go fast anyway. So yeah, right. But if you're really fast, you do the bottle strat and just put a bottle and take a. You just grab some. Uh, you just what, what do the bottle in a, strat. Pee in a bottle? No yeah, you way. just you wire it up down your leg, down the pant pant leg, and then do yeah, a bottle. Yeah, nah, I'll pass. I'll just go to the bathroom and take the time <laughs> loss. Yeah, right, yeah, big pass, hard pass. I'd rather take the time loss anyways. Like uh, so this wasn't mentioned in a while, um, but this is a little optimization to assist a demonstration. Uh, it's basically a very bad task, but just to get the point across, uh, usually you'll see a low tad with uh, things that aren't typically humanly possible. Um, but this is more or less just to show a route that is really funny. 
and that is conveniently fun to do. Um, so more about this, this was made on the Wii Virtual Console using the practice ROM of Ocarina of Time, known as GZ. Um, so I Older. used frame advance, save states, um, and no re-records to achieve this run that effectively has no quote-unquote error, but uh, it's just mainly to show off the run. Yeah. This whole run's doable RTA, so it was hydrophobia percent. But I remember that me and Portalongs as well, remember the times before practice run? God, oh, using man. an emulator? Yeah, I remember those No, names. no, not even that. Gecko like, codes. We you get Oh, the Gecko, yeah, yo. Gecko codes was like the Dude, first revolution. for a while. I remember for when I ran Blue Person version 2, I literally had a thing that I could export my memory my, my saves my Wii saves to oh yeah, yeah um to an sd card and so i would i would just i would just like play a segment save it copy the file over on second and then just do that for the whole route and i would i could only practice like in segments like i could i could load i could like copy yeah it was it was a nightmare you but know, it, 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 it gives you a good reason to like do like you know play and then play yeah. longer and then like yeah. to remember the route I am surprised it took MM to get a practice ROM for the longest time. Like, they just got in KZ, like, maybe two years ago. When we've had GZ for a while. How, how long has the GZ been out for? Like, uh, it's a long time. 20... 2020, I think? 2019? Somewhere around there? GZ just stands for Ground Zero, right? Uh, it... <laughs> yes. What, what does GZ stand for? Like, what is it supposed to mean? Blank. It doesn't something? mean anything, it's just... Blank. GZ. Like, people were trying to think, like, maybe going Zelda or something, but it doesn't really he stand for anything. He just called it GZ. He just called it GZ, but, it, yeah. Like, what does KZ stand for? That's Crim 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 Z. Like, I don't know, Crim like, I, I, I'm so, I'm assuming G stands for Glank, because the Glank made the thing, so... Right. But I don't know, I don't know why Z, like... Maybe it's Glank's last name. Yeah, yeah. right. Glank is definitely Glank's first name. Shoutouts to Glank for making GZ. Yeah. We wouldn't be here watching this impeccable GZ Wotab without it. Very good. So I was thinking of maybe doing the... Except the hover, do the glitches jump here. I thought about doing the glitches jump, I'm like, eh, might as well just do ISG. I'm pretty sure the jump would have been could you, could you even could you hess up here? Or would the camera just mess you up? Mm, I'm pretty sure you could still hess it. No, Evan, like Kaya made this using tools in within GZ. Yeah, so currently this is a video playback of a macro that I recorded yeah. uh, frame by frame. Just to demonstrate the route. Yeah. But it, it could technically be done by this, a player. This can be done in RTA. Um, if you want to use something similar to this route, RTA Dan has the current world record yeah. that uses a slightly out of date route. But this run is still viable as human. Um, Aerith has done this route before uh, a couple years back for another marathon. Um, but this is just a video playback of a macro that I whipped up in the past. Uh, week and a half yeah so we gotta do the diving game because zero scale is blue so we have to we have to have it and shouts to the 25 extra rupees i forgot to mention about it earlier you oh yeah right so um when you rba pocket cuckoo it also affects data regarding your dive meter Yep. So we only have a dive meet of one, so we so we can only get one rupee each time. We can only dive for one second at a time, yeah. yeah. Shout outs to me for getting to going up and getting the reward after all the swiping and runs before. Shout outs to Ben Stevens who made an OT three D all dungeon no doors task and forgot oh, to yeah. get the and he forgot to get the Zora scale. Oh. Yeah, so so right now we're just using swiping to override like all the items that are not blue. Like yep. right now slingshot. We're doing the, the last final touch-ups. And now we just get a stick. Oh, we forgot to mention we we did equip stick 
as adult yep. using a crystal earlier because we we will still need a we still we need, need to be we a, need a weapon but we won't have any we won't have a weapon on b so that's why we we have to have to stick we have to make sure to equip the stick before going back to child because we are overriding it now so we wouldn't be able to equip it if it wasn't on c already we're actually kind of lucky got... that it we're actually kind of lucky that it, it doesn't do um the thing yeah, this, that it does the same the thing as with like ice arrow and that, yeah yeah like that it doesn't do that because it, it would just it would just be a bottle then yeah Okay, so yeah, now no, we're just getting. Yep, dessert. we dig all the blue rupees, and we did drink a dr drink, did drink a ghost. And then you look at all the, all so blue. Yeah, all of our items we have met the quota. Everything is blue. Now it's just time to, just finish the game. Yep, we are now in ang we are now in go mode. Like we have all the items, we have one fi at least one fish. We have at least one blue potion, at least one blue fire. Everything that is blue, by default, we have everything that isn't blue, is what we're written with fish. We have uh, blue gauntlets, we have blue tunic, we have highland shield, master sword, serenade of water, one medallion, zora sapphire. So, yep. in order to just have a clean ending, we just decided, decided let's just go to the credits. Yep. So now we're just gonna do a one one more progress in wrong warp. Using and then another, obviously, another... since we had fish on our sea, child sea right and thirteen yeah, deconuts, right. we activated bottle venture. So now yeah. we have fairs winner on our B button. Yeah, it's also really important to like not accidentally RBA fish, because if you RBA fish, you get twenty nuts or you get like twenty nine nuts or whatever. Yeah. And if the nuts are already overwritten with bottle, you can't throw them. So. Wink does um, have I think, the I think there was one time when I was on a run when I when I when I did swiping and I accidentally swiped the first time with fish on C right. So my nuts were set to twenty nine or to, to twenty one or whatever is fish is. And uh I went back and forth I went forward in time and suddenly had didn't get forest when I was wondering why, but then yeah, I figured out later oh, yeah. because of that. Wink is Going real back in the 2010s with them, Healy's. Okay, as you can see, we have to stick on C still, so we can use it to kill the boss. Which will crash your game on N64 as adult. If you do yeah, anything so stick this... related on like B as child, you're fine. Yeah, so this row. Oh, here. Aerith. So here's an alphabet slide. Oh, that... This is the uh, A, B, Z so slide. We, we start with an A slide and we end it off with a Z slide. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, shout outs to me for this ending. And then shout outs to Dan for this for, little strat I mean, here. Well, not like for me, for com for like having the idea. He had the idea, he tested it, and then... What, the hover yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I I don't know why yeah. we, I don't know why we never thought of that. Just hesitating to skip the Navi text. And then shout outs to game both keys here, just knock them out at the same time. He barely made that door. Yeah, yeah. like it, it just made the sound of shut to, to walk back over my like, dude. Okay, so here's King Keck W. He again. is a, again, very technical boss and the hardest boss in the game. Definitely. Uh, except and, this and time. In fact, the only boss we fight in this category. The only oh, boss, right. indeed. No, that's not true. We fight, uh, we did Phantom Ganon. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Phantom yeah. Gun. Phantom Gun, true. Well, the only child dungeon we do. The only child boss that we only do. child boss, yeah. On like Hydrophobia where we do two adult dungeon. Like one, no. Well, we still do like one and one. Are you one for whole boots for the fight? Oh yeah. Had to keep them on. Oh, you both. Oh yeah, so. Uh, if you remember in Hydrophobia, we used this to go to Morpheus room. Uh, instead of that, this time we just need to get to the credits. Um, so we placed Fair's. So the astute viewer will notice we placed Fair's Wind in Temple of Time coming outside. Well, coming from outside. Oh. Yeah. Um, so when we. Time's coming back, up, by the way, Trist. Yep, time is coming up on the. Uh, when we order the cutscene to the credits. First frame of cutscene. Yep. First frame of credit. Just let me see. Uh, let me know. Yeah, first frame of cutscene. First room of credits. 
So we equip all of our blue items, and then since we put Fair's win in the entrance of Temple Time, coming from high, uh, yeah. the market, I'm in three, we two, will one. load into time. the credits. And that's time. 126 on my feet. And that is what blue percent in... Record? So yeah, for also for reference, my my RTI record yeah. is like one is like one forty, but that's with yeah. out oh, yeah. cut without intro. This oh, was yeah, so this, current, this was with intro, so it's like even uh, faster. Yeah, so current record is one forty, so but without. And so like my, the final time here, my, my run was, was one forty three, but like yeah, the intro got deducted later, so it's a one forty. Yeah, so. This is a 126.13, I believe I said it was in the Discord, with intro. So this would be like a 123.13, roughly, yeah. without the intro. Like, if, if I actually went and did runs on this route, I could probably easy, pretty quickly get sub, sub so. 130. Yeah. Uh, so Wink does not have rabies in the hydrophobia percent. Um, <laughs> I love how you asked that, though. But no, he just has the fear of water. So now yeah. we go and beat Morpho without ever touching water. And now for the best part of... Wait. Oh yeah, this whole this record, record has the whole. Did you no, this has again? no. This has the whole cut. This has whole, all of cards oh, in just, it. Oh, Tresca just yeah. paused the video. Okay, I can I can go back. Don't worry. Yeah, this has all of the just credits. This video's yeah, got all like, full credits in it. So. It looks really cool because you go to Zelda in like all blue attire. Looks really cool. As a doll, yeah. And because the game actually renders like, you know, normally you're not supposed to have blue arms, but it still just renders. It See you later, Evan. In the... Thanks for coming down to the show. But yeah, so... Boo Percent is a very fun run. Definitely. It yeah. is one Evan. of the best categories that we have to offer. And I'm glad I got to, to make this and join yeah. the, the, the community. Yeah, very good run. Um... Yeah, I really, I'm glad that we finally get to show this off after yeah. this being a thing since like over 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. This is 10 years, ten almost year like, era. yeah, the 10 anniversary up in. Yeah, in like uh, I, I, I made the pacement for V2 in 2014. Yeah. Like the, the one that me and Lawrence uh, worked on. Yeah. I've been working on this route for a fucking Ever. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it was a while. Are you playing Final Fantasy over there, Aerith? I hear your no. mouse going off. He's playing Unshrouded. Oh. I saw I'm it playing earlier. Shrouded. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not playing thing. Shrouded. I've been, he's, I haven't he's... played attention to it. <laughs> I know. I, 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 I wanted to like say that, but I didn't want to say anything. Like <laughs> when I saw that Steam pop up, I was like, like oh, I got Lawrence. two monitors, baby. I can keep my my hands <laughs> yeah. busy. Oh man. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. Fine. Okay, well, I think it's time for some shoutouts. We we went through shoutouts earlier, but uh, mainly shoutouts to Cytox. He mm -hmm. couldn't come in today, sure. but he's one of the main big people behind this route. Yeah, he's in a ton uh, of Shouts to uh, Aerith, shoutouts to Dan. Yeah, and shoutouts to like the OT Discord as well, because shouts I remember... Yep. Um, shoutouts to the OT Discord. Like, oh, for the longest time, we did actually go to Jabu, but then like we were wondering if, if you could... like. Um, RBA some way and then I, I don't remember I think we asked in the Discord and I don't remember but someone like we, we asked in the Discord is is there a way to RBA boomerang slot and then I don't know someone responded and they said yes you can do it with plain answers and then yeah I and didn't even had to I, figure it out I wasn't aware of that that whole thing like the back in time bottle thing so that like tell me yeah yeah and then like we me and Cydox or like we all of us um, we fin managed to routed in pretty cleanly and yeah. it was pretty cool it was a pretty cool yeah. five minute time save because we did, didn't need to go to java anymore yeah so on all shout outs to rta dan Aerith, cytox natalia's died uh exodus for equip uh on all shot of blue obob as well uh another one and then that was also running oh yep yeah. shout out to everyone Obop. who who did a run and submit yeah. onto the leaderboard yeah, there's not um, that many, but not maybe. many, but it's it's a good shot. Yeah, right. So looks he's in the right now. We also yeah because we didn't know how how you we didn't know how oh, to yeah. get the we didn't know chat, how um, to get the, the 
We didn't yeah. know how to get the plain icers onto C to RBA them until someone. I don't. Do you remember who responded to Stadox? I don't remember who. Someone, someone explained. Someone told us. I think maybe Mr. Cheese. I don't know. It was probably Cheese. Yeah. That dude's very smart with this game. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt if it was Mr. Cheese. Or Blinny. Okay, oh, boy. Yeah. Shout out to Blinny as well. Shout out to Blinny. Yeah. The shot that we saw for Zor's domain and about uh, the RBA with Boomerang. Yeah. Well, for Boomerang at least. And uh, shout last but certainly shout not least, shouts to Trez for having us on. And yeah. shout outs to um, Eiffel65. <laughs> yep, well. for, for the famous Dabba Dee Dabba Dai. For the theme song of the category, basically. Yep. Yeah. We used to actually have a rule where we had to play that song. <laughs> yes. And whoever and played yeah. it the longest had world record at that point. Like I used tied... to always, I used to always play that song in the credits when yeah. I, I did runs. Yeah. I wish I, I could to... do that just now for you, but I'd get. <laughs> no. You can't yeah. Play, but... I used yeah, to. I used to have the video like really transparent yeah, the, over uh -huh. my over over my game feed and i would play the video of the song <laughs> in mass sword cutscene yeah Didn't like really faint point, over... like a second a second monitor that was playing it or something in the background. yeah i i i used to have a tv in uh, that's behind right me, <laughs> and i would play like a 10 hour version of this of the yeah, video, music that. video like the whole time when uh, that, with was my face cam. that was retro yeah. that was so cool i i had like blue um blue shades and everything uh-huh <laughs> uh, good category. That was, uh, I mean, all in all, also shouts to everyone here for sticking around for almost three hours watching both. Yeah. Both of these videos that I made for you guys' entertainment. Um, it really means a lot. And then, like I said, shouts to Trez for taking the time to yeah, go get this. Sure. It. Sure thing. Thank you so much for being on. Thank you for having us for this. Big shout outs to our comms, to Kyle, to RTA Dan, and to Aerith. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe go some, ahead. Maybe, maybe sometime I can do this again live. <laughs> like the do an extra person, run. Yeah, yeah. I'd be down to have that. So if you're interested, we could even have a race yeah, or something to, on stream. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to like, I have to play now. I need to read or anything. Well, all again three of first. us are, are going to get back into it. So maybe we could do a, a trifecta race at some point. Oh, race. Yeah, that's, that's, that's also good. That'd be really fun. I'd be happy to have that on. All right. Yeah. Um, so, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to raid over to CSR2. And let me end with the famous words of the famous philosopher group, Eiffel 65. I'm blue. Dabba dee, dabba da. Thank you all for watching. I would beat up a guy. And we'll see you all in the next one. Dabba dee. Yeah. Uh, I would beat up a guy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, thank That's you. actually the lyrics. <laughs> if you're if you listening to it closely, it's I would beat up a guy. And that, I, I would, would die. I would. Uh, or I believe I would die. <laughs> okay, I believe, I, I, believe I can fly. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Yeah.